Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lonnie Fox Raymond, and we are live at the Fairfield Invitational with the Women's Professional Billiards Association. Thank you for tuning in. Please bear with us. We're having some technical difficulties today, so we're going to spend some time making some adjustments. Um, so if you see some things changing along the way or some logos, don't mind us. We're still grinding. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. Please bear with us once again. Please pay, pay mention to the fact that uh, we are really fortunate to be on and live at the moment. All right, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mark. Thank you for joining us. Um, I want to let you know that we are making some adjustments as we go. So some of those things will get better. So I apologize in advance. We're twiddling as we uh, as we speak. So bear with us. Um, like I said, there was some connection issues. There were some firewalls at this venue that we were really struggling to get through and their IT people couldn't figure it out either. So please enjoy the match. And uh, we, I promise as, as we go, it will get better. We are continuously working. But yeah, so uh, this is pretty cool event. Um, for those of you guys who have not been with us in the past, this is the Fairfield Invitational. It is in Fairfield, Iowa. And this is a first round matchup, which is quite a draw for these ladies. We've got April Larson, the grinder, versus Pia Filler, um, who is a champion in her own right. It's a Euro Tour champion, multi-time. She's also from Germany. And for those of you guys who are um, not familiar, she is the wife of Joshua, the killer filler. So she is a phenomenal player, and we're really excited that she has signed up with the WPBA this year. So um, we're pretty pumped up to be able to have her uh, playing with us and competing against these ladies and uh, doing a little bit of work. So thanks for tuning in. We love the Iowa event too, Mark. So. Yeah, the ladies here, we really enjoy this. Uh, there's some great businesses here and some amazing food. Oh my goodness. And Mad Hatter Billiards is... Um, just absolutely the most gracious of hosts they have we did some junior clinics and some private lessons earlier this week and uh, making connection to a, lot, to a lot of the locals so that's been a great great time so all right it looks like april she's gone a little funny on this orange five ball these are the Aramith balls, so I believe that we're playing with the uh, purple four and the orange five in this particular set. She undercut that ball just a tad. You may see some testing, some some testers uh, with these ladies. These are first round matches, so hopefully they uh, they can settle in and get comfortable. And then of course, first match we stick them on the stream table, right? So we're pretty excited for those of you guys who are familiar and fans of the WPBA. I have my partner in crime, Miss Angela Janik, back in with me. Hello, y'all. <laughs> She'll be popping in here and there at the moment. She's doing some some other things for us. So she uh, she will pop in here and there to say hello while we get through this first match and hopefully get some of our technical difficulties figured out. All right, so that spin grabbed a little bit more, I think, than Pia intended it to. Just got a little bit of a tester here. I'm pretty excited to have Pia back. We had her at ICB as well, and uh, I just, I enjoy watching her play. I think she's a super talented uh, lady player, and uh, we're pretty pumped up about her. And she's also, she won a uh, world team title with her husband and Moritz Neuhausen in Austria this year. 
So she's a world champion in her own rights. So she's uh she'll just go ahead and shoot this eight. She'll probably go back and forth. I don't know if she'll choose to drag this ball. Just go back and forth nice and smooth. Let her stroke out. She had it a little fat, kind of cheated the pocket a tad, but definitely favor her to make this balls. This ball, <laughs> the nine ball. All right, Pia Filler taking the first game. All right, so let's go over some of the rules while Pia's doing this real quick. We'll check this out. All right, everybody, there's match rules for this event. It is lag for the first braid alternate break thereafter there is a three point break rule in effect which we'll explain nine ball doesn't count on the break in the bottom two corners three consecutive fouls is a loss of game and these are cue ball fouls only so we'll talk a little bit about the three point rule um the three point rule is when you uh break the rack you have to get a combination of three points. Now, it's either balls pocketed or balls past the head string. So we'll see Pia here. We'll see if she connects and gets a, a legal break for her first break. She has to get a combination of three points in order for it to be legal. If it's not legal, then April has the option to take the rack or she can give it back, but she can't push. Only the original breaker can push. Unless, of course, she makes a legal break and breaks dry. All right, so she made a legal break, but she did break dry. So she's going to, um, April has, I don't see April trying to push out here. I'm sure she'll just go ahead and go for the, uh, go for the opportunity to get out. She wants to try to get on the board here. I'm not sure if the ladies aren't updating their digital pool uh, live scoring. They have a tablet for them. So we are waiting to see if maybe they haven't updated their score. But it's currently one nothing in favor of Pia. All right. Just so you guys know, I know it's not current. Um... Yeah, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. We appreciate you guys, especially those of you who are more of our regulars. We appreciate you for always coming back and supporting the WPBA. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. All right, guys, sorry about that. Somebody's always popping in the booth, and it's the beginning of the event. We've had some, there's been a lot of uh, trouble with the Wi-Fi out here, so um, I think that's part of the problem with digital pool as well, so please bear with us. It will get better, we promise. And we've been here for two days already working on it, if that tells you anything. <laughs> it's not been an easy one. All right, so April's back at the table. And she has a real opportunity here. She's going to have to play short side. Tucked a little under the six. I hope she's still fine. Let's pop over and see what we got. Oh, yeah. That's a little deep. I mean, it's makeable, right? She's got to control. Try not to hit this nine ball. And uh, she wants to obviously avoid the scratch. She, don't... she can play the seven in the side pocket there instead. She may be able 
able to draw and bring it to this side rail here and back out. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Lots of bumping happening, huh? First round matches are always so tough. And then these two ladies took a, had a pretty, uh, a pretty uh, tough draw right out of the gate. Although there's only 48 ladies in this event. So the top 16, they seed over into the second round. So the first round is the bottom uh, 16 in the top 32 and uh, the other 16 players that were extended invites. All right, everybody. Sorry about that again. We had somebody pop in again. It's the early start of the tournament. So a lot of times, a lot of the directors and the promoters, they'll pop in and tell us this or tell us that. And I really, I, I'm going to just leave a notepad on the wall and be like, write the note and then hand it to us. <laughs> I'm going to get a little, somebody can work on that. I'm going to need a little sticky pad for outside the booth and just be like, write it on this and hand it in. All right, back at it. I hate when they distract me from the game. You know how much I enjoy watching the game. Like... All right, so April can just play this with a little follow. She's going to just roll it forward a tiny bit. She doesn't even really have to. She ultimately could accept the stop shot position and still be able to cut the nine in, but she's going to roll it. It's a good shot. Larson getting on the board. All right, it's one to one, ladies and gentlemen. This is a race to eight this round, correct? Race to eight. All right, so real quick, we'll do a little shout out to our, our uh, tried and true WPBA tour sponsors. Uh, we have Aramith, Simonis, uh, Digital Pool. Who else am I missing? Altsville. Diamond, of course. Servitude. Jam up apparel. You guys, I know you guys can't hear Angela, but I can hear her in my headset right now. You guys just don't get to hear her yet. She's still teching away. All right, April's break. All right, so three, four, five, six, seven. She made two balls on the break. I'm assuming the six ball went past the head string because April, no one's moving. So uh, looks like April does have a shot. I don't know that the two ball goes past the three, but uh, she's. I, I believe that it does because she's not taking any time to figure out what to do. Yeah, great shot. Oh, and by the way, I don't think if I made mention of this just yet, uh, the, these ladies are on a mandatory 40-second shot clock on the TV table. A mandatory 40-second shot clock always on the TV table with one extension per rack. So, it's like, sorry, you guys, there are so many things going on right now. I feel like I keep spacing out, looking in other directions. All right, April Larson on the purple four. 
she's trying to get on to the uh, orange five ball. She hit that nicely with a lot of control. Beautiful little touch there. Now she can draw out of this, or she can she can draw out of this to shoot the six in the bottom or the top right hand corner of your view, or she can play it with follow, which it looks like she's doing, which is top of the cue ball, going forward just a tad to shoot the six in the side pocket. Looks like it traveled maybe a tad farther than she ultimately wanted it to, but this is still totally makeable for April. <laughs> that was awkward. Angela just checked her phone to check the quality of the stream, and I heard my own voice. It was very awkward. <laughs> I was like, whoa, flashback? Yeah, Steph, yeah. I, got, I mean, I don't know that I necessarily got a, much rest, but it's a rest for the wicked, right? So April's got an opportunity here to take the lead. The score is currently one to one. I apologize, Digital Pool's not updating at the moment. And it looks like April Larson trying to extend the lead two to one. This is a race to eight. April Larson versus Pia, the killer filler. I assume she uses the same nickname as Josh. They're the killers. Right? Nice. April Larson, two to one. All right, looks like P.S. Sorry, you guys. It keeps, I just feel like I just want to be involved in this match so badly, and everybody keeps stomping me. It's so bad. You guys know I'm a pool nerd. I have to watch. Can't even do all the things. Is it actually afternoon? Hey, everybody, this is Angela Janik, and yes, I'm back. It's been a few events I haven't been able to attend. Um, my surgery went well. I am somewhat playing pool. Probably not my best, but at least I'm able to, and I'm extremely happy to be back. So I am going to be doing some commentary with Lonnie now and then at 2 o'clock because she plays. So I will talk to you all soon, but I am going to go help some of the um, tournament directors and a few other people take care of a few things, and I'll be back later. It's nice to uh, see everyone in the chat. Yep, I sure did. Tell her, you need to go help them people, Angela. <laughs> I was like, go oh, help some people. All right, so we're trying to get it all figured out here. So you guys bear with us. I promise we'll we'll get it all figured out here before long. We thought we had it, and then there was a massive firewall problem here at the convention center, and so we are working on it. Um, and they are going to try to fix all the digital scoring for those of you guys who aren't. Um, Familiar, we use tablets. Shout out to uh, uh, Mr. Pickles for that. And um, the digital scoring, because everything runs on Wi-Fi, 
Uh, with having the firewall system here in Fairfield for the event center, we're having some trouble busting through it. So <laughs> there's certain things it doesn't allow us to do for some reason, so we're trying to find another avenue. Like I said, you guys bear with me. I'll make it work. We'll get it figured out. This is just day one. I promise it'll be better. Stream looks pretty good from what I can tell. Um, from what I can see of it, it, it looks nice. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that. This is a pretty cool venue, the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. So it is really neat here. Uh, if you guys have never been, this town is just really, really fun. Um, lots of great food options and everything is in within really close proximity of, you know, the event center. So we get to, uh, you know, check out in walking distance you know, 20 different restaurants and Mad Hatter Billiards, who's also one of the sponsors for the event. Um, Iowa City Ladies League. There's some really great sponsors for this. Divinity Q's, Midwest One Bank, uh, the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, the City of Fairfield. Thank you so much. And the Atumwa Radio Group is also part of the sponsoring. Yeah, we're working. We're working. Uh, we're definitely working on all the things, guys. Thanks so much. Just stick with us. We'll get there. Hi, Sarah Church. Michael. Hello, hello. Ooh. Yes, it was almost a hanger. Wiped its feet, as Jeremy Jones would say. She did get it in there, and they are playing on diamond tables, and these are brand new diamond tables for this event. All right, April Larson, I believe she is up three to one currently. I'm gonna look out my little window and double check that score. Um, for who I can see currently at the moment, it looks like Billy Billings is up two zero over Joanna Ashton. Um. Laura Smith is up three to zero over Sandy Chang. And those are the only two that I can see at the moment. So I apologize. And obviously you guys are viewing this match here and it's three to one in favor of April. All right, well, wow. She just didn't want to leave anything to shoot at. Joan Hooker, last ball rolling. No. Uh, really hate when that happens. I just want you guys to know that. So um, it's very frustrating as a player, and I'm sure you guys are aware of this, um, that, <laughs> that uh, it, it's just very frustrating when you break the balls beautifully and the last ball rolling gives you a fit and ends up blocking your shot. Now, I do think April has a shot on this purple four. Yeah, she sure does. She's a real opportunity here. She made three balls on the break and had a starter. April Larson. Well, we're talking about April Larson, the grinder. Uh, she is currently residing in San Antonio, Texas. She was born in Minnesota. Uh, she's ranked 24th. She plays with Peach Hour Cues. She's a five-time junior national champion, a seven-time junior world champion participant. She's a two-time bronze medalist at the junior world championships. She's a two-time Atlantic Cup Challenge Cup team, USA MVP. She is sponsored by Peach Hour Custom Cues, Iron City Billiards, International Billiards Association, Fort Worth Billiards, Rush Automotive, Wild Things Antiques, Castilla Leather Cases, Dunsky Dungeon, Jam Up Apparel, Pool Shark Billiard Club, Artie Demurius, Todd Adamski, and Julie's Diner. And we're so happy to have April here this week. Congratulations to her on a great start for this event so far. And it looks like she, ha she came a little flat on this seven, don't you think? 
this is tricky. She's going to play this with a lot of draw. Beautiful shot. Hey, she held that cue ball beautifully. Uh, she can go back and forth on this shot in order to just let the cue ball go and not have to control a whole lot. Like, um, or if you know she wants, she feels a little bit more in control of the situation. She can just roll it in one wheel across. Just like that, she doesn't want to fall on the rail. But it's definitely makeable. I think she'll be just fine. April came ready to play. Four to one, April Larson. All right, let's see about Pia. Let's find Pia's bio. All right, so Pia's current WPBA ranking is 55th which we know is not going to stay that way. Her first event was at the ICB uh, last month when we were there. She shoots with a Predator Throne. She also has, she breaks with the Predator BK Rush and she has the Predator Air Rush Jump Cue. She is a team world champion. She has multiple Euro Tour championships uh, and she is a multiple-time European champion. She is uh, obviously from Germany, and she is the wife of Joshua the Killer Filler. Let's see this break here. All right, so she definitely, she got the one. She pinched that one over into the side pocket. She wants that two to slow down just a little bit. Oh. Oh. That was an illegal break. So here's where the illegal break comes into play. Now she made two balls on the break, but she didn't get a third ball past the head string. You have to get a combination of three points. So she made two. And the two and the three, neither one of them came past the headstring. So this is where the illegal break comes in. That's kind of a bummer, isn't it? When they make a when they make two balls on the break, but they don't get to shoot, if they give it up, especially when like that was a great break by Pia. But um, these are the rules, and these are the rules that the ladies, this is a player-run organization, these are the rules that the ladies voted on. So everyone accepts, even sometimes when it's not working in your favor. So I like this. She's probably going to try to find the window between the five and the six. Yep, currently the score is 4-1 to one in favor of April. All right, so April, she can go ahead. She's going to cut this orange five and come around two rails for the six in the same pocket. Okay, just like that. She wants that cue ball to slow down. Wow. It was like it was listening to me. Did you guys see that? All right, so here she'll probably draw back just a tiny bit. This is a race to eight alternate break format. Lag for the first break. And April Larson's about to go up five to one. 
these matches being the race to eight, we see a lot of momentum shifting. So uh, we'll see if if April can keep her uh, foot on the pedal or if there will be a momentum change. Looks like Pia has gone ahead and she's going to take her break. So we'll be on player break. Let's jump over and check out some of our sponsors. Here we go. These are the Fairfield Invitational sponsors for this event. So shout out to uh, Darren Hamilton, who's also the vice president of the WPBA. We have Divinity Q's, Iowa City Women's 8-Ball League, Midwest One Bank, Morrissey Law Offices, Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, the City of Fairfield, Holt Family Dental Care, Adela's, Mad Hatter Billiards, uh, Atuma Radio Group, Divinity Q's, Vix Auto Body, and so many. So thank you to them. We'll check out our tour sponsors for the WPBA. These are our tried and true sponsors. Digital Pool, Jam Up Apparel, Diamond Billiard Products, Aramith Billiard Balls, Simonis Cloth, Servitude Photography. Without them, there is no us, so thank you. Let's go uh, check out what we got going on around the room. Let's see. Do we got anything fun happening? Losing a camera, folks. Got a camera missing. Yeah, so it's going to jump a little bit, everybody. Um, hopefully we can get that under control once we figure out how to break through some of their firewalls. We've gone through some of them, so... Fingers crossed throughout this process will get a little better. All right, it looks like Pia's back to the table, and these ladies are going to get back to the action. These ladies are allowed one break per match. Wow, April's break is just stellar today. All right, two ball, slow it down. You'll see April, she'll probably go ahead and remove that Altsville template rock from the table. All right, so April has a great starting shot here on the two ball. She does have to be mindful. Oh, she missed hitting the, the orange five there. That was a great shot. I'm sure she'll probably play this ball forward one rail back out to the center. Yeah, she'll play this with a high ball. Top English, and she'll go to the rail and back out. She put a lot of spin on it. That's okay, too. Although I think she's probably got a little more angle on this ball than she really wanted. She may opt to play this with a, with a soft speed instead of going back and forth. She may opt to just try to roll it in and keep it in the window of the six. She went all in. I didn't like that as much, and that's why um, I felt like she had to put a lot of, like, she needed to kill the cue ball in an, to avoid the scratch in the side pocket because she was cutting it so much that uh, it tends to die off that rail. Just going to have 
to play this with a lot of high ball. Missed the seven. She nicked it. But it worked. That worked, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she fell a little flat, ended up on the rail again. You see her kind of look to the heavens like, oh boy, I'm still working. Yeah, we uh we have had so much fun here. Oh my goodness, so much fun. Uh myself, Taruko Kukuleli, Brittany Bryant, and Angela Janik, of course. We came in a few days early and so we've been hanging out with the locals and doing some lessons and some junior stuff and so it's been really great. Everyone here is fantastic. The owners of Mad Hatter Billiards are top notch. Uh and so we've had so much fun. We really enjoyed ourselves so we're grateful to um, everyone here who's just always so welcoming all right so April Larson look at this ladies and gentlemen we are live on digital pool Currently six to one. This is a race to eight alternate break format. So um, although April definitely made that tough on herself, I'll agree to that. She is fixing it. She continues to fix it. Pia Filler. See her then. Her jersey there. She is getting ready to break the balls. And I love that the, the digital pool is finally updating. So um, it's currently, it should be six to one in favor of April Larson, but I don't know that they've got the tablets out to the ladies just yet. And get us a good break here from Pia. She did her last rack. I have a foul break, an illegal break, so she's looking to improve that. Wow, and she definitely did that. She made two balls in the break. She got two balls past the head string, so more than what she needed. And she has a great shot to start on the two. It looks like she has to make a little bit of a decision here. Um, she has to be careful if she opts to draw through this two ball. She has to be mindful of the two and the nine there. If she decides to go forward, she is um, she may not have the angle that she needs to go forward. It looks like she may draw and just accept the shot. Smart shot by Pia Filler. All right, so when we asked Pia what uh, she thought about her first WPBA event, she said to me that she loved how um, well taken care of the women of the WPBA are and um, how excited the people are in our venues, how excited the people are when we come to all our venues to see the ladies of the WPBA and she uh, she feels like that's different for her so uh, the WPBA has definitely one of the best fan bases on the planet and we are so grateful to them and to our sponsors for their continued support so, and we have more events this year than we've had in years it's wonderful if you guys are not familiar go to the WPBA it's Women's Professional Billiards Association dot com. Is that correct? Is it WPBA dot com? WPBA dot com. And on there you can go ahead and click on the little plus symbol and you'll be able to see a list of all of our events coming up. We have quite a few this year, so you guys are going to be seeing a lot of us. So a little bit of a tester here for Pia, but I favor her to make this ball. 
just a little draw, bring it back across table. She doesn't want to overhit it, but it really isn't a big deal if she does. I think she'll just go one rail back out towards the center of the table with some draw, bottom of the cue ball. Just like that. She fell a little straight on that that eight ball, but she can stop it and play what we would call, play, say, short side shape, um, which would allow her just to shoot the nine ball in the left hand bottom pocket of your view. All right, be a filler. She's not going to go away. She took full advantage of that great break there. Congratulations, Pia Filler. Currently, the score is 6-2. to two. Just so we're clear, I'm not sure why her uh, tablet is not updating or if they just don't have them at their table yet. Okay. Angela just whispers. <laughs> So at the moment, the tablets are not at the tables, but they will be. We're getting there. Yeah, Leanne, we are definitely going to Chicago this year. If you want to check out the dates that uh, that event is happening, go ahead and go to the WPBA.com. Click on the little plus symbol and then hit the events and you will see we have so many. We're going to uh, New York this year and uh, back to Soaring Eagle in Michigan, and uh, Louisville for a Napa event, Napa-sponsored event, and um, also Chicago. So lots of really cool events this year. I think we're even working on a Colorado date. I don't know if it's established yet, but I do know it's in the works. Hi, Zach. Long time no see, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so it looks like April's gone. Uh, she's in a bit of a spot. She may be able to cross over this ball and just play a safety. I don't think she can make it. So it looks like she may have to cross over that, maybe bank the one down table, and maybe put the cue under the eight ball there. Yes. Travel a little. Maybe she intended to get under the six, but that was risky. Definitely risky to let the cue ball go that far. She got there. And this great safety by April Larson. Yeah, Johnny, I do think we're going back to ICB this year. Um, and I don't know the date. I'm sorry. I should be more prepared, right? Wow. Little jump kick there. Great shot by Pia Filler. All right. Apologize for some of the lagging issues. We will definitely get that taken care of, folks. Um, but for now, at least we're live. <laughs> Hey guys, do a little conversating here. We're still working on all the, the details of the, the Wi-Fi and the, the firewalls here. So um, if I pop in and out, I apologize. Thank you for tuning in. This is Lonnie Fox Raymond, and you are currently watching Miss April Larson versus Pia Filler in the first round of the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. We are in Iowa. If you're close by, come see us.
There's lots of room for spectators and there are six tables of action. You can check out the brackets at digitalpool.com. Go to the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. Click on the word bracket and you can follow along. There's also a live scoring link in there as well. And once the tablets finally get connected to everything, you will be able to follow along live. All right, April, she's trying to get on the hill. This is a race to eight. Should go ahead and just play this with a high ball. She doesn't want to fall straight in on this eight, though. She definitely wants a little angle, which is good. She's got that. You can see that. That's a seven ball anyway. It's not even eight ball. <laughs> well, there's that. In seven ball, eight ball. Same thing. <laughs> All right, April Larson. All right, April Larson, grinding her way to the hill, ladies and gentlemen. She is on seven. Oh, that's funny. On the hillo with Phila. <laughs> you guys come up with some stuff in that chat room. I kind of enjoy watching that sometimes. All right, so she did not foul break. She made a legal break here. She almost got the whole rack on that end of the table. She won't be illegal breaking anymore. <laughs> She's like, I'm not doing that again. She's a quick learner, right? All right, so if this one ball sneaks past that two, could be a little tight. She could play it in off the two. So let's see how Pia decides to play this shot. Now, she's got enough of it. She doesn't need to play it off the two. And it really isn't a big deal, but... I think she left April tough here. I don't think April can make this ball. She may have to just bank it out of there and try to keep the cue ball under the two. I'm not sure how much of it she can see, but I don't think that she can pocket it. Yeah, James, I'll get you the details on the ball sets for this event. Just stay tuned. We'll see if... Uh... Oh, wow. She... Wow, she tried to weld it up there. What a nice attempt. Still safe. She would have loved to have had it frozen to that blue, too. That would have been a great shot. Let's go back and check out Pia. Lining up this kick shot here, she's going to try to make contact with the yellow one ball. And uh, hopefully she can kick it down table and get the cue ball to come back towards her. Just like that. A bit too hard. Mm. Do you think they April goes for the one nine? She's got a really large lead. She's up 72. I don't know if the, the reward is worth the risk, but being that she's up a little ways, I guess if she were to play it and she could figure out how to get the cue ball somewhere just in case. 
trying to hide the cue ball. You see her kind of checking it out. It may go past the nine, but I don't believe that it does. All right, let's see where April Larson. She could also just try to cross bank this one and get the cue ball back down table underneath that orange five. All right, well, none of that happened that we discussed, so we're moving on to the next shot now. <laughs> yeah, one niner, right? All right, so Pia's got an opportunity here, and I really think, I think that uh, Pia has a real chance to get out on this rack. Um, she needs to, and if she doesn't, she really needs to execute a great safety. Just pocket the one, hold the cue ball there in that line. That was a beautiful shot by Pia. She can go one wheel across. Back to the center of the table, kind of by the side pockets. That would be acceptable. In between the eight and six there. She doesn't want to make it difficult for queuing, so she needs to be mindful of that. Which I think she actually has done. She's going to have to be stretched out over those balls. This is cue ball fouls only. This is not an all ball foul event. We don't have referees at every table, so therefore we really can't leave it up to the ladies to make those decisions for themselves or to call those things because that's when you start to have problems. We don't want that, so just stay with the cue ball fouls only. 30 or 40 second shot clock mandatory on the TV table. Looks like Pia's there. I think this ball will just roll nicely into the side pocket. She just needs to decide where she wants the cue ball for the six. she probably just pinch it over a tiny bit based on the angle that she has on the five. Just like that. Great shot by Pia Filler. I shall just go ahead and probably draw this back as well, just a tiny bit, maybe three to five inches. That should land her pretty straight to a stop shot to the nine. She kind of shortened that up a little bit. Now she's cutting this eight ball a tiny bit. A couple more inches, she'd have probably liked it a tad better. Now, she she can go ahead and just play this ball with draw and slide over and shoot the nine ball in the same pocket as the eight. Just like that, what a great shot by Pia Filler. Just gaining a little momentum here. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, the score is currently seven to three.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I had to kick the troublemakers out of the booth because April Larson is on the hill. I was like, look, I got work to do. April's on the hill. I want to be involved in this. Oh, I probably just jinxed her. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. So sorry, April. All right, so this is a bit of a tester for, for Pia Filler here. Um, I don't know if she will attempt to pocket this three ball and get position on the purple four or if uh, she'll opt for a safety of some kind, some type of defensive play. She is down quite a bit. I like that she went for the safety. She did not get there. She needed to miss the black eight ball. All right, this is April's second opportunity at the hill to finish up this match here with Pia. Now, I don't know. Um, it doesn't look like she's going to have much trouble. She does have to be mindful of the six and the five ball there. So she may opt to draw around two rails with a little bit of uh, below center English. Just like this. She wants to miss that five, though. Oh, boy. No? Or just bump it out of the way. That, that will work, too. That will absolutely work. <laughs> All right, so these are error myth balls. You're using the purple four and the orange five at the moment. All right, so she's, uh, I, I think that there's a little bit too much cut to try to hold this shot. So she's doing, she's got to go back and forth. Yep. Too much angle to shoot that ball and hold that. She needed to just go ahead and let that go. She missed the nine beautifully. So she didn't bump anything. And came back down to pretty much exactly where she needed to be for the orange five. So she's going to put a little low on this ball and just kind of slide this cue ball over right there. Just like that. She also, uh, she wants to make sure she leaves herself a little angle on this eight ball to get back across table for the nine. So she may just opt to, she could go ahead and stop this ball right where the cue ball, the cue ball will stop right where that six is. She can drag it forward a little. It's maybe a little flat, but I think it can work. All right, April Larson, eight. And this nine ball for the win in her first round at the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. All right, congratulations to Miss April Larson. She has completed her first round match against Miss Pia Filler. You guys are welcome to go to digitalpool.com, check out the brackets, go to the WPBA Fairfield Invitational, and you will be able to follow along live and just to follow the bracket and figure it out. Table three is our stream table. So if you see a match on table three, they're probably going to be on the stream. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And we'll be back for the uh, two o'clock match. Yes, ma'am. That's the one. Thank you. I'm going to pop over for some commercials. Please check out our sponsors. And we'll be back in action in just a few. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration, and digital payment tracking. Enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com.
All right, good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Fairfield Invitational <clears throat> WPBA event. This is Angela Janik coming to you live. So it's been a very interesting morning. If the stream is lagging a bit, I apologize for that. We are stuck with the signal that we have here in Iowa. We are going to try to reconfigure a bunch of things later this evening um, once the matches are done. So hopefully tomorrow and the next day and for the finals on Sunday, they'll be a lot better. So please bear with it today. Lonnie and I got here about 9 a.m. this morning and worked on it for about three hours and tried to do everything that we could to make it better, but we're kind of stuck. Um, with. If you've never been to Fairfield, Iowa, I'll tell you it is one of my most favorite places to be. It is a beautiful town. Um, especially in the spring, and um, the people are so kind. Allison Fisher spent some time here yesterday early, and she said, it's just so welcoming, and everybody's just so relaxed and so nice, and she's not wrong. But it is Fairfield, Iowa, and the signal's not so great. Even the Ethernet is not so great. So we will try to fix it a little bit more later, but... Um, Right now, um, we went ahead and turned it on for you so that you would have something to watch, even if it lags, and if you can make it through that lag, I appreciate it. Um, but it looks like we had to change uh, the match. I actually saw, it looks like a Jerry Stuckert is in the chat, that Monica had to withdraw today because she's sick. Um, so be thinking about Monica and hope that she uh, gets well soon. But it looks like we switched the match to Michelle Monk and Sophia Mast, the Pink Dagger. I am a huge fan of both these ladies. Um, love the juniors. I love what they bring to the sport. They are the future of our sport. So she looks like she actually got a little lucky here to get behind that um, five ball. This is a pretty good jump shot, though, in my opinion. You can bridge pretty high with the rail. And get over that five. So Lonnie helped out with the first match while I was trying to do some other things with the tournament director. So I'm not sure if this side view is working. Oh, looky there. It is. We're having some issues with the score um, tablets this today. So hopefully we can get that fixed for tomorrow as well. Oh, she definitely made it over the ball, no problem. But did not hit the four. Sophia's been playing on our tour, I think, for about two years now. We have Kelly, um, Kennedy Mayman. We have actually a new young lady, and I can't remember her name yet. That's, I think, 13 or 14 years old that's now playing. Um, and then we have Savannah Easton and Sophia Mast, all juniors. I think Kennedy's the oldest, and Sophia's next, and then Savannah's the youngest. But I actually have pictures of all these ladies on my on my wall at home. They're so young, but they play at a much higher level than most people really give them credit for. So I appreciate, yeah, everybody tuning in. Um, I haven't adjusted my volume since this is really the first time I've talked. Um, if you can hear me okay, great. If not, let me know. <clears throat> What's great about um, some of the juniors is how much they, um, I would say, not complicate the game. I think for me, I've been playing pool first time I picked up a queue, it was 1980-something. That's giving away my age. Anyway, um, old school billiards is not the same as new school billiards. Sophia does a very good job, in addition to the other juniors as well, as taking what the table gives her. So she doesn't use English when it's not necessary. And um, 
it makes it so that she's much more consistent in her game. So I can see the comments in um, the chat. So you're welcome, June. I'm going to shout out to June. Shout out to Mary, since it's your first time watching. And then I also want to kind of just answer one there. John said something, a dedicated session for autograph seekers. You can always show up. If you happen to find me or Lonnie and you want some autographs, we will help you get whatever autographs you would like from the players that are left. Usually by Saturday, let's see, some people have left. Most are still here. By Sunday, there's a lot more that have left um, because there's only, f we're down to the final six on Sunday. So um, yeah, Saturday, you should have a pretty good chance of getting as any autographs that you would like. So just um, come on in. You know, if you get a ticket and come in either the regular section or VIP section, find me or Lonnie, we'll help you get some autographs. We're all pretty easily approachable. So the score isn't going to update. I'm going to do my best to keep track. However, if any of you are going to be tuned in the entire time to this match and want to keep track with me, please do. Put MM here on the paper and SM1. So it should be Sophia 1. Okay. Oh, thanks, Randy. Yeah. Technical diff troubles. Um, three hours of shaking our head this morning. Literally three hours. Could not figure out why. I haven't been here in several events because I've been out on medical. I had surgery in December on my bridge shoulder. Um, crazy as I am. But I wasn't able to play pool and I want to continue to play. So I went ahead and um, decided to have the surgery. And so I have missed a few events. Um, and I got back for this one, and then we get to set up last night and this morning, and things aren't working. I was like, really? That's my luck. Nice shot, Michelle, but where's it going? Yeah, that's fine. So, we just, uh, it's, it's Iowa. I, I say that, but I've, we've been in certain places that are big cities and because they're big cities and of course they have the great e internet and you know the f all the fast stuff but because the city is so big it's still slow so internet is not always I don't know about you guys but if you go through your lifetime and never have internet problems you're one lucky person <laughs> I don't I have to have boosters in my own house because of where I live, and I live in Ohio, so. She's not, this is going to give this away here. What's my timeline to get back to practice and play? Um, hmm. So the doctor released me um, two weeks ago, honestly. Um, before that, I was only allowed to lift a Coca-Cola can or a coffee cup, um, let alone play pool. Really wasn't allowed to do that. So um, two weeks ago, I grabbed my cue and I went to a, actually a benefit for a, a pool player friend of mine. And I played all day for about the first four hours. It was very uncomfortable to play. And I'm not able to get down on the ball all the way because it's a shoulder surgery. So, But by the end of the night, it kind of started to warm up a bit. And then I played a little bit last weekend and it, it got better. So I'm um, a month. I still have a month of physical therapy left. Uh, I should be good to go by May. I am playing in the tournament, this tournament now, but... Um, I probably am going to struggle a little bit, and that's okay. I'm just happy to be here. I miss playing pool. So, but I should be good to go back with my regular game by May. I just have another month of physical therapy, and I have to do a lot of exercises and things at home um, just to make sure that I, I heal correctly. 
but my doctor is very pleased. I guess I've done well. So, Lonnie is not in the booth with me. She is playing her first match of the tournament. Um, started at two. Um, cannot remember her opponent. I'll have to look. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. I can't see. I can't see Lonnie's score. I can see Lonnie's score if I put my glasses on. I think I can see it if I put my glasses on. No, the score is not correct. We will manually update the score because the the none of the Wi-Fi or internet is working for our tablets to connect. So. Um, Normally they will keep they would keep their score on a tablet, but um, next to their table. But since the tablet's not working, we can't do that. So we'll have to manually update the score. But when we do that, it takes like a minute to sync because somebody's manually updating it that's not actually here, um, like sitting right here in front of the table. So just have to wait for it to sync up. I guess you would say. Uh, Tina Larson is playing. Yes. Okay, so the score right now actually Sophia is up one to nothing, and it is updated. It's just going to take a minute to sync up. I'm sending it to someone else that helps out with the tour on the board, and they're going to update it manually for me. So, and yes, it's going to be choppy, a little bit choppy. We're going to fix that later this evening, though. Definitely, definitely going to fix it. You serious? I am not keeping Lonnie in line. There's no way. No way. Lonnie, Lonnie keeps me from losing mine. We're gonna talk a little bit about should, um this game here. I gotta get back into pool. I haven't even played really or done much in months, and this is a little awkward for me. A little low left English is what she put on that ball, just a tiny bit to have that cue ball come back and not scratch in the side pocket where she's standing. It looks like pretty much she ended up straight on the nine ball, which is the best ball to be straight in on. She's pretty close to straight. So Sophia is, uh, she's up two to zero against Michelle Monk. And it looks like she must have won the lag because she's breaking in the third rack. So she must have broken the first and third. She'll be odd. But this is an alternate break format. So big shout out. Thanks to our tour sponsors, Aramith, Diamond, Simonis, Jam Up Apparel, Elsville Servitude Photography and Digital Pool. And also a big shout out to our Fairfield Invitational sponsors for this specific event, um, especially the ones across the top Holt Family Dental Care, Adela's, Mad Hatter, Billiards, Iowa City Women's League, Midwest One Bank, and Morrissey Law Offices. Also, shout out to City of Fairfield and the uh, Fairfield Convention and Vitor Visitors Bureau, and to Darren Hamilton, who is the main sponsor and on our board of directors for the WPBA for this event in Fairfield, Iowa. So big thanks to Darren for letting us come visit his wonderful town. I love being here. One ball on the side. Beautiful break. So she had the one ball on the side, but she did not make the wing ball. So I don't know if you guys noticed that. The two ball um, left, 
you know, the rack area and went down table and came back up. But that is all. Or we have a three point break rule, so you have to have at least three balls past the head string. She only had one go past the head string, which was the two ball, minus pocketed balls, which was only the one on the side. So the break was, I mean, I'm not going to say it was a soft break, but that's our rule. It's to eliminate any kind of soft break. If she makes this, she's going to be upset because you can't see the three. She did not, it was really close. She bumped the four when she, that cue ball traveled, so. Hey, Chris, I would love to call the internet provider. Trust me. Trying to hold that cue ball, place where she can see it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna change and hardwire something. There is a direct line I can get to this evening. So this match and one more might be a little choppy, but once the sec this next match is done, I'm gonna turn everything off and I'm gonna redo it. I'm not giving me too many options, but I'm gonna find one that works. That's nice. Look at that. So that's a tricky shot right there to. Um, Shoot that three ball and just hold the cue and barely move it over for the four short side. That's really hard to do. And she did a great job. The thing is, is she's got a little bit of a steep angle. She needs to get onto the five. You can get close to that side pocket, which is scary. Right? Which is scary, 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 scary. <sighs> that was so close. What a great shot, though. Sophia's a great shot. Really controlled that cue ball there. Nice. So she's just going to kind of punch that six ball. She's got a little bit of an angle. I think she'll punch it and come back out so she's not stuck on the rail. She brought it back a little bit. So just so you know, if you're watching on your phone and you're watching on the YouTube app, there's a little button for settings. If you click on settings, you can change the quality. Make sure you change it to 1080p if you're on 720. And it almost always defaults to 720. If you're on 720, it will not look good. So if you're watching YouTube on your phone, make sure you click the button, change the settings to 1080 instead of 720. It will be a lot clearer. Well, Sophia is kind of running away here. She is uh, up three to nothing if she makes this nine ball. Nice job, Sophia. Michelle is uh have to get in the game here. Break and run would be nice. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration, and digital payment tracking. Enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free... Uh, she's already up to breaks. Cut that little commercial there short. So 
So it's a really good break. She's got an excellent shot on the one. This is a perfect opportunity to kind of close this gap that she's got. She's down three games to zero. I like this, um, the two ball. Honestly, it does not look, I don't like combos. I, I, and I don't recommend it, honestly. Um, combos are so, um, yeah, see that five's just not really in a great place. The statistics aren't great for making combos. That's all there is to it. And it's about consistency in pool. So I would prefer not to do what she's, I'd actually put the two up table. I would have rolled up more to the eight ball and put the two up table, but she is looking at it because the five ball doesn't look like it's in a good place at all. She's looking at both. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, overcut that ball a bit. It's going to sit ugly, though. So she's a little lucky there. It's just not froze on the rail, but the six ball left a bank shot. Sophia will take a bank shot, given them. Yep, it does, but that's a pretty steep. That's too steep. I think she's going to play safe here, definitely. Nope, she went for it. Oh, she got lucky. Oh, no, she didn't. Look at the cue ball. <laughs> so the six went in, but the cue ball came back here and hid behind the four, so now she can't see the two. She was trying to do something there. Um, so she's going to try. It looks like a two-rail kick around this corner pocket back to the two in the sign. So she just did a mirror method there, dividing it in half through the middle of that corner pocket and then sliding over parallel shift to the left and she's gonna put a little running English on it she hit it but she's not gonna hit a rail so that's gonna be a foul so Michelle's got the ball back another chance at that two ball Stays down on the ball real nice. Holds real still when she shoots. It's a ball to get up. That's a pretty steep angle there for the four. She also has to come back. Um, she has to put some low outside English on this to bring the cue ball back because the five has to be made up here, um, same direction the four ball's going. So she's going to have to bring the cue ball back. It's going to be a little tough. Here. Okay, well, this works if it goes in. It did. I didn't see that one coming. She'll take it. She's on the board. Luck favors the bold. All right, y'all, I'm going to leave the camera right here on this view and go on mute because Lonnie is playing. Um, I don't have anyone else to sub for me while I take a, a restroom break. I'm going to have to do that, so it's going to be silent um, on commentary for a moment. If you don't mind, if you are in the chat now, stay till I get back. Let anybody know if they happen to post a comment. Where's the commentary? Let them know that I'm going to be right back as soon as I can. Thank you so much.
All right, everybody, thank you so much for covering for me. I take a little break there. I'm not as young as I used to be, and if I need a bathroom break, I take a bathroom break. So thanks for waiting for me, keeping everybody updated. Sophia is at the table and doing her thing. She's got, uh, she's shooting over the eight ball, which I is terrible. I hate that. Makes it so much harder. This is so hard to shoot over a ball. It's pretty much one of the hardest shots in, in pool. She just needs to stay nice and smooth. Good job. Not go too far. Don't go too far. Eh, went too far. Okay. So this is not a problem as long as she avoids the nine ball and whatever um, path she gets the cue ball to take. She has choices. So there's multiple ways you can shoot this or you can travel the cue ball in between um, the eight and the nine or you can come on the other side of the nine. Looks like she's cueing. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. So she avoided traffic very well. Uh, got in between the eight and nine ball down a bit to have a shot on the eight. Now she's got to draw back just a little bit. Looking at where she needs to be. She's going to draw back for the uh, nine in the opposite corner pocket here. Perfectly done. Very nice. It looks almost straight. Yeah, beautiful. So there we go, Sophia, four to one against uh, Michelle Monk. Unless I missed one, did I miss one? My, we have somebody watching right now, so keeping the keeping track of the score. But I can. They do have a little um, flipper on their table. Room watching. It is four. It is four to one not five. So I can see Sophia's little flipper at her, next to her chair and uh, it does say four to one. So it is a race to eight. She's got a shot on the one, but it's not a pretty one. I would play safe here and tuck the cue ball behind the two. Launch the one up here behind the five, best pop behind the five, best possible, just like she's trying to do right here. Get, 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 get. Very well done. Oh, she just about like froze it up against that two. That's a great shot. That's exactly what most players would do right there, but she executed it perfectly. So that's a great shot. So Sophia's looking at a two rail. Or no. Yeah, she's looking at a two row. I wonder where the eight is in that path. She, yeah, it should come bef like before the eight. So not close to the pot in between the pocket and the eight, but yeah, before the eight. Oh, geez. I literally just missed it. So she needed to, um, Go a little bit wider with that shot. All right, Michelle's going to just roll this uh, one ball up to that pocket. She doesn't want to go too far. She wants to be able to shoot the two ball pretty straight because if you leave yourself an angle, you could, it'd be harder to control the cue ball to stay in the opening there of the six. Yeah, where she can go back out to the center of the table and take a little deeper cut. But she needs to hold this cue ball so she doesn't stay behind, get behind the six. She doesn't have a full view of that three. Ooh. Now we're going to use the bridge, which overcomplicates it a bit. Oh, 
Oh, the, any of the commercials that you guys see right now are YouTube commercials, not stream commercials. I have only played one. Yeah, that's YouTube. YouTube loves their commercials. Did I think she can still see it. We're about to find out. Yep, looks like she had, my, had to throw it a little bit. Ooh, just a little nick. Ah, oh, not quite far enough. Great shot. Hey, Vanessa. Laggy is a word. I'm going to say yes, it's a word. And we know. We know it is. It will get better. We are going to have to rewire everything this evening. The um, box that they gave us right now, um, kind of like a splitter, but not quite. Wow, what a great shot, Michelle. That was a great shot. Um, is killing our signal. So we're going to try to, um, I'm going to try to get a dedicated line this evening after this next match. So tomorrow it should be hopefully a lot better. Yeah, we're going to reset and rewire everything this evening. We spent about three hours at least trying to get you what you have right now this morning. So my apologies. The internet's not always great everywhere we are. And I'm not saying tomorrow it's going to be perfect either. I'm just saying it should be better. So she ended up too far. She went too far, but it's fine. Honestly, she can go um, three rails as long as she doesn't bump into the nine ball and mess with that. She can also go two if she hits it soft and try to hold it. She's got plenty of choices. She can move the cue ball around the table. Yes, she chose for three and did not want to bump the nine, but ended up not getting away, but she missed the six. So I wish I could give you all updates on some of the matches that are playing right now. I will do my best. Jordan, I think it's Helfery. It's the young um, other junior that we have playing. She's actually battling it out with Kennedy Mayman right now. Kennedy is up four to zero. I can tell you that. Um, Kim Hausman is up three to three to one over Lonnie. Can't see the next table. The other ones I cannot see. That's the only ones I can see from the. But if I can get an update on the other ones, I will. A great match going on on table one. I wish you could see that. It's a good one. Elul and uh, one of our Canadian players. Some good matches going on. Oh, Monica Webb actually sent a message this morning. She had a fever. Wasn't feeling well at all, so she withdrew, forfeited her match because um, she's sick. So I, she didn't even come into the uh, convention center at all. Nobody, nobody saw her. She stayed in her hotel room. So everybody be thinking of Monica today. Hopefully she gets feeling better soon. Nice shot by Michelle there. Closing the gap a little bit. Four to two for Sophia.
good break by Sophia. She's got a great shot on the one here, but the two is a little mm, off. Don't go too far. Nice. She just left it perfect where she can see that. Uh, yeah, just perfect. She's looking at where she wants to be for the three. It's a nice shot on the one. Perfect position on the two. Perfect. Hit it or go past it. Pick one. <laughs> it's time. I'm, I talk to the balls when I'm shooting. Yes, I don't say usually everything out loud like I just did, but I do talk to them. So this is um, just a hard shot because she's kind of half sitting on the table, one foot on the ground to try to reach it, and she's got to get over the six ball. That's why I said either hit it or go past it because you didn't want it to just skim it and leave it there. So. She chose to play safe instead of risking missing that ball and selling out. So it's actually a good choice. I think that Monica can see at least the edge of it. If not, she thinks she can impact it through that window. But um, checking to see if it's on the rail. I'm not sure if it is or not. And I'm cold, y'all. It's cold in here. It's cold. It's still winter in Iowa. I need to put a jacket on. Good hit. I'm going to see what Sophia does with this ball. And I'm going to check a couple scores for y'all. Let you know how the rest of the matches are going. What a shot. It's not going to be, pr that's not fair, y'all. That is not fair. No reward for a fantastic shot. All right, so just in case Digital Pool is not up to date for everybody, Kennedy Mayman is up 4 to 1 over Jordan Hillary. E. Lowell Kibaruglu is up 7 to 0. Bonnie Arnold's match is 2 to 2. And Lonnie is down 3 to 2. And then our stream table.
Good safety shot there. Left the cue ball on the rail. She would prefer the six be up further, but still very good um, separation shot. Nothing wrong with trying to carry them, especially when you leave it nasty like that. Good speed. Left this, I mean, six is off the rail, I get that, but that's still a really tough shot. So a little bit of an attempt of a carom there. Two-way shot. Um, speed control was great. Left it pretty. Now, Sophia's young. This is one thing I know about these juniors. When I played, I uh, played Sophia once, I've played Savannah once, I've played Kennedy once. Their eyesight is phenomenal. You can't see the side of the ball anymore like they can. They can cut this stuff. See what I mean? Because they can see it. I can't. So they have a tendency to go for shots like that with a lot more confidence than I do because their eyesight's good. Yes, the stream table is table three. Yes, yes, yes. Nice job there. Sophia played a beautiful safety there. Didn't like the seven ball, and I agree, I didn't like it either. Uh, she is, uh, Michelle is jacked up. Try to see if she can get around. Nope, I think she changed her mind. She's just going to uh, go up one rail. Up one rail. Oh, nope. She needed, to, just needed some more juice on that to get there. So, um, Javier, I don't know if you check if you check um, digital pool, um, whatever it says for table three at at uh, four o'clock is who's on next. So I don't know because I don't have it up on any of my screens at the moment. But if you figure it out, let me know. We I think we did an announcement um, earlier today on who we would have on um, table three at four o'clock. Can't remember who it was though. Yeah, Savannah is in the top 16. Savannah has, I think she's very 10th or 12th, I think. So she, this particular tournament, because it is only a 48-player field, the top um, 16 are seated into day two. So this is the 32 players, other than those seated players that are playing one round today. And then the seed, seated players, the top 16, will start their first round tomorrow. When we have a bracket of 64 players, um, sometimes depending on, I think, I don't really know, actually know the criteria, but the top 32 um, are seated. So it always, it's, not the, it's not always the case, but... We have we have lots of different. This is a this is a 48 player. We have a 64. We have an 80. When we have an 80, there's a first round where they qualify to get to the second or final stage. Um, I don't do brackets. That's the tournament director's job. <laughs> I do know I've been seated a couple times though, so it does help if you perform well enough to be seated. It certainly does help. One ball close. One and eight. Passed. Oh, she made two balls, and the one went into the. Yeah, look at that. They fell right at the end. Hey, you know what, I, um, Javier? If I'm saying it right, hopefully I am. If I don't know the answer, I can guarantee somebody in the chat does. It's always been like that. I really don't have to think. I just have to keep this mic on. Oh, that's right. Judy Wilson. Judy Wilson and Chanel Lorraine. Thank you. I hope it's Seth. I'm saying that correctly. Dark Heart, Seth, Dark Heart. I don't know. Really cool name, though.
Oh, Sophia's not far behind. Actually, I have to look at where Sophia is in the rankings as of now. I can. I do have another computer. <laughs> of course, I have another computer up in here. Let's just see. We'll go to rankings. We'll just do current rankings, not end of year rankings. Although I was uh, better at the end of the year than I am now. Pretty hard when you miss a bunch of events. Sophia Mast is currently ranked 26th. And Savannah Easton is ranked 10th. She's had a lot of really top, top finishes. So April Larson has worked her way up in the rankings after coming back to the tour. She's currently ranked 24th. And I'm at 33. Woohoo! Needs that ball to move, baby. Okay, that's far, that's far enough. That's far enough. Oh, I said it correctly. Fantastic. Proud of myself. Yeah, April played lights out today. I mean lights out. I mean, it, what was crazy is she is her first match at this particular event. She's, I mean, played out in how many tournaments now that she's back and, uh, she was nervous and she was just shaking, you know, because she's on stream if she's always like that. But I watched her a little and she was just so nervous. But it just didn't seem like she missed anything. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry chiming in there. Someone's always listening. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, is it going to go? Yes, it went. It's a super tough shot. Just barely hit the inside of the rail there with that ball. Alright, it's down to three. Five to three, so only a two game gap. Two balls down, plenty of balls past the head string. No reward with a shot on the two ball. That is so unfair. I'm sure she's opting to push here. So she chose to kind of mess things up a little bit. Uh, I say mess things up a little bit. A push is, is not so easy when the nine balls drawed up in the pocket. And it's just every ball. Gosh, combo, every ball. Possible combo, every ball. Possible. It's annoying. So move the, move the nine ball out of the way. Make it so that the, the rack just has to be run out. Good choice. Mm. Mm. Wait, we gotta go back to this view. Do you have an angle here? Alrighty, how's she gonna get on the three? It's gonna be really tough. I can't think hardly. She has much of an angle on this. She's got a great open shot on the two, but I don't know if she can, uh... Ooh, so she's just gonna leave it there. She's got a window between the, uh, seven and the nine here. Right there. Yep, just like that. Nice little window. A little tougher, um... Cut shot, but should be fine. 
come back to the center of the table for the four, go around the six, between the six and seven, a little outside English. Oh, she tried to do inside English and hold that cue ball. That was tough. That's a tough shot. Lots of, lots of English. This is why English sometimes is not a good thing. These ladies are working hard. They're putting the time in. She can't make this ball, but she can certainly hit it. She's got an open. She's out. She can, I think, hit it pretty full. Bumps it. That's a that's a good leave right there. That's a tough shot. That's a good shot. She's going to either one rail or two rail kick this. Usually better to two rail at it. Look at this. Look at this, folks. <laughs> Luck favors the bold. That's what Lonnie always says, and I'm stealing the phrase. A great, great shot there. She could get it to one game here. Lots of different ways to, to uh, play this shot. She looks like she's drawing the ball really low, queuing really, really low on this six ball. Oh, she really wanted to come back to hit it, I think. Oh. Yeah, I think the shot on the six ball got her in trouble. She tried to draw out of the six ball and just, um, she hit the seven. When you hit traffic, you can never guarantee what the result's going to be. That's why I always try to avoid um, hitting any other ball on the table because it sometimes turns out badly. There she was stuck with a bank. And unfortunately, she missed the bank and left Sophia a shot there on the seven. So she's got to make this nine pretty far away from the pocket here. Gonna have to hit it perfect to make it.
Nice shot, Sophia. Six to three. It's a good match, ladies and gentlemen, a good match. Sorry about that. I missed that break. I was watching. I was <laughs> so that was a moment. Uh, I might have a little bit of a short attention span today. So I was watching um, Lonnie do a jump shot because she's in the second table in our little window in our booth. I can see her and um, she was doing a jump shot and I was watching. She's, she's, but their, their match is pretty close here. Um, uh, I'm her biggest fan, so I can't help but watch sometimes. And then I lost focus and I forgot to go back to the stream view. Please forgive me. It's a rough day. And it's my first day back to the tour, so. <laughs> Can I use that for an excuse for a little while? Oh, let me get away with it, please, please, please. That's a good shot. She needs that cue ball to go or stay. Pick one. I th think it's I think it's okay. Yeah. Looks okay. Oh yay, I have a pass for the weekend. Blonde moment. Yes, I am blonde. Yes. And gray. Blonde and gray. A little bit of gray. A lot of gray in certain places. Good shot. Coming two rails around for the six in the side. Needs it to stop, preferably, so you can put the seven on the side too, but I don't think it did. She can come around again if she likes. She missed that shot earlier, though, so she didn't like that one. Or she can um, hold it a bit and put the seven someplace else, or she can come around, get her behind. There you go. Keep going. Perfect. Now she is on the perfect side of the seven to get shape on the eight. She really wants to be on this other side. So this is just the natural English, the natural shape, sorry, natural shape, no English really, of this ball to uh, just come float up here for the eight, and she really needs it to move. So I would have straightened that out a little bit. I think it would have not got, um, would have gone in the side pocket, but passed it. Just the natural English, I think. She needed to hit it a little harder, though. She doesn't seem to be scared of like, extreme cut shots like this, though. She just kind of fires them in. I like that. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Yeah, this is ugly. This is ugly. Oh, this is not Lonnie Fox Raymond, y'all. This is Angela Janik. I'm back. Ooh, Lonnie got that rack. She's now leading her set. Yay, yay. I'm a fan of everybody's. I'm not supposed to be partial. I know. Okay. I don't know what Sophia's going to do here. She's asked for her extension. They're on a 40-second shot clock. This is just ugly. It is just ugly. Aw, oh, Carly, enjoy your trip. We will see you when you get back. Oh, Sophia was trying to just barely tap it there and get it up on the rail. But it's so hard when you're hesitating like that. You're just trying to do it so soft that you do it too soft and it doesn't go anywhere. And she didn't hit a rail. So 
It's tough. This that was tough. I I don't know. Oh, don't be sorry. I guess we're. I don't know, but people tell us our voices uh, sound the same. So I guess maybe Lonnie and I sound a little bit the like. We both have deeper uh, voices, not high pitched voices. I cannot sing a soprano, sing an alto or a bass. So maybe we do sound alike. So one nine ball, and she'll uh, she'll have a close there. She's gotten close to to tying this up a couple times, but lost control of a few things here and there. All right, so that makes it six to four. All right, we're back. No referee. There is not. Um, there's not a referee sitting at the table. There's two referees over by the tournament desk um, that can call shots or uh, you know ref whatever's necessary. And then there's a shot clock operator that's also beside the table, um, keeping track of the shot clock. They're on a 40 second shot clock. They get a minute after the break, one extension per game, and two if it's hill hill at the end. So there's a. Uh, there's several things going on. The tournament director can pretty much see all six tables from where the tournament desk is at, the way we have this particular venue set up. Did she hit that hard enough? Yes, she did. Good job. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Going high, flying high. Got a reward in making that ball. Where the two ball is, there's no reward in making it, so but it just hit that and tried to launch it someplace else. This one ball is just becoming a problem. 
No, Kelly Fisher and Wei Su Chen are not here. They are playing a, um, or traveling or something. I think overseas. This is a good spot to be right here. Just pinch that ball right there. It's like that. She wanted it to hit one of them and stay. Did she get it locked up behind that three or not? I do not know. You can't tell from here. I think she can see it. I think she can see the two. I really do. No, Jasmine doesn't come to every event. She usually comes to our Masters events or um, the larger events that we have, the more money added. Pretty far for her to travel. She runs a pretty successful billiards. Oh, nice shot, Michelle. Academy. Um, yeah, Jasmine runs her own billiard academy in Austria. And um, so she's she's doing that a lot from what I understand. And she only comes for some. Uh, Soaring Eagle for sure, which is her favorite. She won that event last year. Right after she won it, she she yelled at the top of her lungs in in the tournament floor. I love Soaring Eagle. It was really quite cute. Um, but that's that's her favorite event. Oh, she tapped that eight ball. That's not good. She's not happy about that. But um, so yeah, we're probably gonna see. We might see Jasmine. Before then, before Soaring Eagle, but absolutely for sure, Jet's where she will be um, in Michigan. Mount Pleasant, Michigan is where Soaring Eagle is at. I think that's in June. But we do have two events coming up before that. We have an event at uh, Janet Atwell's new location, not far from her old location of Borderline Billiards. Um, in Tennessee, and then we will have racks in um, Hemp Hempstead, I think is what it's called, New York, um, which is Caroline Powell's sponsor's um, pool room, and we will be there in May, I believe, end of May, beginning of June, end of May, beginning of June, and then at the beginning or of uh, end of April, beginning of May, we're going to be at Borderline Billiards. <clears throat> So there is a schedule on WPBA.com on our website for events, and it's a very full calendar. So you're going to be hearing my voice so much. So much. Probably going to get a little annoying. So Sophia did not, she just kind of gave up on that four ball. We're really happy with how she hit it. Something happened. Not sure. She immediately walked away and sat down as fast as she could. She didn't like it. Um, so she let Michelle to the table again. I think I have a good commentator voice. Awesome. I have a low voice. I can't do anything high. And I think a low voice is good. Although, I'll tell you, honestly, Vanessa, I, can, I cannot go back and listen to myself do commentary. And I never do. If I watch anything about the, um, the streams, I turn the volume all the way down because I cannot stand to hear myself talk. And I don't understand why. But it just is not... Is not I don't like the sound of my own voice. <laughs> so she's going to put a little low outside English on here and draw this ball back or three rails forward. Oh, there you go. Went a lot of room to do that. She shot that really well. The personal preference on what you would prefer to do, either come back or forward for that. Yeah, she's getting, she's, she's warming up, it seems like. Found in a little bit of a groove, Michelle is here. The ad started just as I started talking. <laughs> really? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome.
Oh, <gasps> she didn't. No. No. I hate I hate that for anyone. Anyone, and I mean anyone. Huge fan of Sophia. I hate that for anyone. Ever want to draw on like, oh my Sophia will take it though. It puts her on the hill. Seven to four, folks.
All right, I was walking around checking some of the scores there during a player break. Lonnie is on the hill, ladies and gentlemen. Her opponent is at four. I think that's going in. Nice job. Good shot, Sophia. I love you all just taking care of everything in the chat for me. I appreciate you all so very much. Do you need some coffee? Give it to stay away from that side pocket. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's a little close for comfort there, Sophia. <laughs> uh. You just, no problem, draw the ball. About four diamonds back, it's no big deal. Sheesh. She went too far, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Literally too far. Uh, ee. What a great stroke this kid's got. Yeah, I should say young lady. She's really not a kid anymore. She's a young lady. She should be driving soon. Really think she's supposed to be driving soon. If she's not already. Is she 15 or 16? Does anybody know? I'm not quite sure. I can tell you with the wind in Iowa, I need chapsticks. Anybody have any chapstick in the chat? Wow, what a great stroke there. Coming all the way around. Two balls left. Two balls left. Fifteen. New Corby would have the answer to that. Yep, fifteen. So, next year, folks. Sophia will be driving. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That was a tough shot. I would bet that Michelle's going to try to either bank this back or hold the cue ball behind the nine. One or the other. She's going to play like bank back or play safe behind the nine. It's the only real two options. How about that, folks? How about that, folks? Can you say... Uh, swish. Wow, what a shot. What a shot. She is not giving up anytime soon. She's going to get a shot on the one. 
Yes, but no shot on the two, after the one. However, she has an angle on the one, to possibly hit the two. She has options. She has options. None of it is just an easy run out, though, so... Let's see what she gets done here. Just like that. So, great, but five balls in the way. So now what? I think this is a pinch. You, you hit this ball, launch the two ball up here where her chalk is sitting, and put the cue ball behind something. I just, yeah, just put the two ball where the chalk is. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, a little bit more angle, or a little bit more over would have been good. Still all right. But we've seen Michelle um, bank, so I'm not, I don't know what, <laughs> she might be tucking behind the five here with the cue ball. Yeah, she's going to try to tuck behind the five. Oh, that's not enough. Is it going to sit or bounce? Sit. Nope, that's, that's not makeable. It is not makeable. Yeah, it doesn't go in the side. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Sophia's going to stare at it for the minute, but the way it landed, I'm, I'm almost 99% sure it doesn't go in the side. Yeah, that's what I thought. That was too much. All right, sorry, tournament director making announcements there. We had some matches finished. Kennedy Maiman won her match. Lonnie Fox Raymond won her match. So, all those... <laughs> all those players will shoot again tomorrow, whether they're on the A side or B side. That's pretty lucky there. She missed the two ball, but she left... Uh, she didn't leave much of anything. Sophia's on the hill. She really, 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 really needs to finish this one out. Mm, Corby, I am trying to. I'm gonna try to play. I am gonna try to play. I I've played twice. Uh, the f not well the whole time. I can hold a cue, can shoot. It's just not not the greatest. So look at that jump shot, folks. A great shot. <laughs> she pretty much got almost perfect shaped on the three, so that's a great shot right there. But yeah, I'm gonna try to play my match. I, I play in a half hour actually, um, and we'll see how I do. I didn't. I I I I'm able to move with my shoulder enough that I didn't need to miss another event. So um, whether I I can play real well or not, I'm still here. So got to start somewhere. I had the surgery so I could play pool again. <clears throat> so I think I'll be good to go with back to my normal game um, for the next event in May. So this shot, if you put outside English on here, you need she needs to get on the eight, but the nine ball's in the way. So the only thing that, that can mess this up is if she leaves the cue ball behind the nine. That's it. As long as she can see that eight ball. So she went really short, and I think too short because that side pocket's looking ominous. Ooh, okay, that's so close. 
So she went short to avoid getting stuck behind the nine, but got really, really close to scratching. Um, all she has to do is make this ball. Nine ball will be in a clear view, natural English. So she's taking her time to aim this out. Be at one with your poor shoulder, Angela. Thanks, Carly. I will do my best to be at one with my poor shoulder. Oh, yeah, I've accepted it. <laughs> Trust me, I've accepted the pain. <laughs> A little bit more pain for another month or so. <laughs> we'll be all right. <laughs> it's still fun to play. I don't get too awful upset anyway, so. Done. Done, done, done. Nice job, Sophia. They're hugging it out. Yep, that's kind of how we are here. Great job. So Sophia Mast is uh, going to continue on the A side. Michelle's still in it. I uh, I am going to put it on mute here and go to our regular screen. Lonnie will be back um, for the next match at four, and i got to go play. Everybody wish me luck that I'm able to uh, not get stuck on the table because my arm won't let... Uh, won't let me push myself back off of a shot, so that's <laughs> which is the hardest thing. Sometimes I get stuck. Anyway, wish me all luck. I'm gonna go try and uh, try and shoot some balls. Lonnie will be here at four o'clock. Come back in about 24 minutes for our next match at 4 p.m. Um, Central Time.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lonnie Fox Raymond, and thank you for joining the stream or staying in from our last match. Uh, we have a great matchup here. This is a first round matchup between Chanel Lorraine and Judy Wilson. This is a race to eight alternate break format. The three point rule is in effect. The nine ball doesn't count in the bottom two pockets. And three consecutive fouls is a loss of game. Cue ball fouls only. Looks like Judy's gonna get the first break. Thanks guys, glad to be back. I made it through that match. It wasn't going, didn't start off so well, but it finished much better, so. Advancing into the next round. If you guys check out digitalpool.com to follow our journeys, uh, I'm, playing the natural Kaylee McIntosh tomorrow so thanks for tuning in let's get back to these ladies enough about me this is Judy Wilson racking the balls right now they call her the Rose her first WPBA event was the 2022 Northern Lights Classic which I believe was in Minnesota she resides in Maryland she was born in Ohio she's currently number 54 on the WPBA she uh she is sponsored by Team Street Pool Eye. Uh, so Judy's pretty cool. I like Judy. I've chatted with her quite a few times, and uh, she's a really nice human and um, very, very always excited to be here. So we, of course, love having her. Um, and her opponent, who we haven't seen except for lagging, um, is Miss Chanel Lorraine. She uh, was born in Japan. She resides in Florida currently. She's uh, number 37 in the WPBA. She is uh, sponsored by Poison, Andy Cloth, How Tips, and Eastern Billiards. All right. So, one, two, four, five, six, seven. What happened? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, she made one ball in the break. And only one ball past the head string. So looks like only the four made it past the head string. So that's only a combination of two. She needs three points. So Chanel gets to take the shot. She can give it back if she doesn't if she doesn't like it. She can give it back to Judy. She probably won't, but she can. And I'm not sure what's going on with Digital Pool because I've been playing. So um, I'll try to keep you updated on the score, but it hasn't updated inside Digital Pool, so I apologize. I don't have names or their score. I don't know what's going on. Stick with us, folks. It'll get better. <laughs> All right, so Chanel can... Bank this ball she likes. Looks like she's going to lay up and just play a safety or a containing shot. Yeah, everybody, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you won't get notified when we go live. So make sure that you're subscribing and uh, don't forget to pull back out of the full view and hit the little thumbs up button for me. I'd appreciate that. Make sure you're sharing it to all your pool groups. Get the word out that we're back in action. The WPBA here at the Fairfield Invitational in Iowa. Oh, thank you. Looks like uh, D needs to start the matches. All right, so that was a really nice safety by Judy. I uh, I believe that Chanel will probably kick at this ball. She didn't go and grab her short stick, so she's going to go for the kick shot. I mean, there's a couple balls down there, right? So if she, she gets a good solid hit on the three, the Q may bend back and go in between that uh, the four or five there. Oh, she missed it. Very close. Judy's going to come back to the table with ball in hand. <laughs> All right, 
guys. So, girls had a little back and forth action. Yeah, right, Steph? So, just the little bell notification, right? If you hit the little bell, then you'll get notified when we go live, if I'm correct. I don't know. I'm not really... Uh, I watch YouTube a lot. I subscribe to everything so that I get, hopefully I get notified. I, th I feel like I do. When I subscribe and then I watch regularly, it becomes some of your favorites, right? And it just pops up. All right, so she overcut that ball a little bit. This is, uh, these are first round matches for these ladies. So um, you'll probably see some very uncharacteristic misses or some like weird cue ball control these are brand new tables brought to us by diamond so brand new equipment brand new balls brand new felt brand new outsville racks so thank you to aramis simonis diamond outsville digital pool jam up apparel those are just some of our tried and true uh tour sponsors So this cue ball traveled a little far. Oh, boom. There you go, folks. And we now have names. All right, so she uh, missed that five ball. She's left it kind of almost perfect for, um, for position to the six, to the green six there. So once Judy settles in, it's comfortable. This is cue ball fouls only. So hopefully Judy doesn't, hopefully Judy doesn't bump a ball, but if she does, then the opponent has the opportunity to put it back. All right, so she pocketed the five. Now Judy's taller, right? So sometimes this shot can be a little tricky for someone who's short like me and Chanel. Chanel's also little. Um, oh, it must be tricky for Judy too. I felt like because she's a bit taller than me, I thought she might not have as much trouble reaching that ball. Just needs to pinch us with a little bit of draw. Try to just get up above the eight ball. Doesn't need to be perfect, just a little above the eight. Now, these ladies are on a mandatory 40-second shot clock. Woo! Got a little zip in it, didn't it? All right, so Judy has a real opportunity here. They had a little back and forth in the beginning of the rack, but that's all right. All right. Oh, no. All right, so in the WPBA, Judy cannot concede to this. Judy has to, uh, Chanel has to come to the table and shoot the, shoot the nine ball. There is a no concession rule in the WPBA, so everyone must shoot the last ball. Looks like Chanel's going to take the lead here, one to nothing. This is a race to eight, alternate break format. Nine ball, one on the spot, just so you guys know, right? There's so many different ways nowadays. So these ladies, let's go over that real quick. This is, they are on a uh, 40 second shot clock with one extension per rack. Uh, they, I do believe they get 60 seconds after the break. They do allow a push. And so for those of you who aren't familiar, if say Chanel breaks the balls and she doesn't like her shot on the one, she can opt to push. If she pushes, then Judy has the opportunity to shoot from where the cue ball lies or give it back to Chanel. So for those of you who aren't familiar. You can 
kind of see on the other table there. We got Olivia Chang playing against Angela Williams on the table right next to these ladies. You guys are welcome to check out digitalpool.com to find out when and where your favorite ladies are playing. Just go to the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. The top under the banner, click bracket, and there you go. All right, this is our first time seeing Chanel break today. She's got a good little break for such a small person. She kind of let the rack, or the, she kind of lost her cue ball a little bit there. Yeah, like I said, these are these rounds today, these are all first round matches. And so um, on brand new equipment, brand new cloth, uh, brand new balls, brand new tables, and literally brand new tables just came out of the box, brand new. So um, nobody really knows how they're going to play. We assume they're going to play perfectly, though, right? They're diamonds. They usually do. All right, so they may take a second here. I don't know. Sometimes when the balls are uh, on that rack like that. Oh, Chanel's got it. She's got a steady hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm shaky. I struggle to do that sometimes. It's probably all the coffee I drink. All right, so we got Chanel. Looks like she can see the edge of this one. I, I am a little concerned that there is a potential scratch there. She hits this too thin. Oh, she had plenty of it. She needs to be careful. She's going to knock that two in. Oh, my goodness. Two for She made the one ball and the two ball. Now, she does have a shot on the three, but getting up and down table on this shot is going to be a little tricky. With the four ball being back down here, I mean, her base direction. Maybe she can put a little bit of right-hand English on this ball and come up and out. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I can't tell. Let's pop over the side view. Oh, oh. Judy's going to get right in the way, isn't she? Okay, so pretty sure she can see this, enough of this, to actually pocket this ball on the side. Looks like Judy's kind of queuing down on the cue ball. A little bit of elevation in that backhand. You guys can see that. She overcut it. That's tough to do, back cutting that ball that way. Got a little fortunate. That's all right. That's part of nine ball, right? I mean, when you're on the receiving end of it, it's not fun. But it is part of nine ball. I'll try to keep you guys posted on the scores. Um, right now, out in front of us here, um, Angela Janik is playing Jerry Ng, the ageless one. And they just, they're still a 0-0. Zero, zero. Right. Uh, Tara Connor playing, uh, I believe, Jay Suko down on the far end. Ashley Benoit is playing Joanne Mason Parker. And I already talked to you guys about Olivia and Amy and Angie. So, or Amy, sorry about that. Angela. Angela Williams. All right, looks like Jerry Ang is currently one nothing on Angela Janik. If 
you guys don't know about Jerry Ng, definitely want to go to our WPBA Facebook page. There's a story about Jerry there. She's one of the, uh, she is one of the, actually, she's the oldest WPBA member. Um, but she's amazing and we love her. And if you guys know anyone that would be interested in sponsoring Jerry for the next season we do think this is going to be her last season with us so if anyone knows someone that would be interested in sponsoring jerry for her next season reach out <laughs> we don't want her to go away we love her the ladies here so if you guys haven't been to a wpba and event and met jerry ing you're missing something because she is the sweetest human all right, it looks like Chanel's got ball in hand here, so she knows that there's a bunch of clusters and some weirdness going on, so I like that she's doing this. I think she's just going to go ahead and play a safety. Now, I don't know if she's going to try to move the seven with the four in order to give herself a little bit more clearance to get on the five. Oh, she double hit the Q. Well, that was nice of Chanel. See, the girls here, that's the best thing about the ladies in the WPBA. If they foul and they know it, there's never any argument about it. Um, you know, uh, I always say that everyone just, you know, is their best self. And they treat each other the way that they want to be treated. So if you foul, you just got to own it. If you know you fouled, they just give it up. You know, there is the occasional where, well, I didn't know, I don't know if I fouled, and usually the ladies are fine with that. Um, you know, everybody trusts each other, so. Honesty is the best policy, right? So my mom used to always tell us, it's better to be honest. You'll get more trouble for lying. <laughs> All right, so it looks like there's a 6-9 ride possibility here. If Judy, it may be a little off angle, but that's okay. Um, it's a preference. She's going to go forward. I like that so much better. But she did look at the combination, so I was kind of not sure if she was going to play the far forward for the 6. Oh, wow. I am really surprised that she shot that in the corner. I really thought it was just natural to the side. That's where sometimes, right, I have the same problem that you guys do at home. Sometimes when you, the angles on the, the TV screen, I, that's my view as well. I'm not actually in direct line of the TV table where I can see it clearly. Kind of tucked back in the corner here, so... Sometimes I have the same weird visual as everybody at home. She's left herself. I mean, she needed some angle, right? But I don't think she quite needed that much angle on the eight ball, but that's, it's fine. It's makeable. Really, she can just pay, play this with a nice smooth stroke. She can allow it to open up. She can allow it to open up just by keeping it nice and smooth because she really is not in much danger of falling below the nine. She just needs to let it go back and forth. Nice, clean, easy center ball stroke. She got a little rammy there. Yeah. Yeah, she hit that ball a little too fat and she kind of jabbed at it, which, you know. All kinds of bad things can happen when you get all rammy, right? So the score is currently one to nothing. Chanel. Not sure why it's not updated yet, but that's above my pay grade, folks. That's, uh... All right.
think Chanel will be fine here. She currently is in the lead, two to nothing over Judy Wilson. This is a race to eight. Oh, hold on just a second. All right, folks. Looks like Judy Wilson has broken dry. Oh, she made the, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, she broke dry. So Chanel's got a decent starter here, right? And really, the tricky part of the rack is from uh, the four to the flat, to the five, the orange five. I know Chanel has been working really hard on her game. So uh, I know that the last couple of times I've seen her, she's played exceptionally well. <laughs> yeah, guys, the score is currently two to nothing in favor of Chanel. Now this is a little tricky because I'm not exactly sure how Chanel is going to get to that five ball. Now she could, oh she spun her. Oh get a little gas. I think she's going to be okay folks. Look at that. This is a makeable ball. Now the cue ball is going to travel really fast because she's she's cutting this ball very thin. So she wants to try to control the cue ball as much as possible, but she undercut it. She's left uh, Judy an opportunity here. Take this rack back. Wow, that was unfortunate. She just cut that ball a little bit. She didn't need to cut it, right? So when you cut the ball, the cue ball naturally travels. So Chanel's got an opportunity to accept that lead. Extend that lead. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, is she getting ready to go in there? It's dark in there. Oh, these ladies. Man, these first mound matches, they can be brutal. Everyone is usually so very uncomfortable 
and uh, it is it's like one of those situations where you really got to settle in and unfortunately um, we do have warm-up tables um, but what happens for a lot of a lot of the ladies if you're this is first round and say you're the second or third round of the day there's not a lot of availability to uh, to practice so you really have to come you either have to come in early you have to go through a rotation of ladies one rack at a time it's very hard to get warm like that um, and then you come in and and the practice table is n not the same table I don't believe as ours right now I don't know if it's a brand new table but you know it's still not the same it's not under the lights it's a, it's in a different room so the temperatures everything's are different so you just don't it's so tough you literally settle in during the match score is currently two to one in favor of Chanel Judy got one of those racks back All right, folks. Sorry, got a bunch of things going on. It is currently two to one. You're right. I uh, in favor of Chanel. All right, and looks like uh, Chanel is. She's not in a good spot. She can't see this one ball. I don't even think she can clip the edge of it. Not even the right side of it. Sure doesn't look like it. She may have to opt for a push here. Now, if she pushes and leaves it there, I would think that Judy's going to take the push opportunity and probably play a safety. She can bank the one around two rails and try to get it back down table here. I have to be careful. You sometimes are weird about putting the ball... Uh, close to the nine but kind of in that vicinity right all right great shot by judy she hit the oh it leaked a little um i'm wondering if chanel can make it i don't know that she wants to or that she should but uh she definitely could she could thin it and try to play safety and stick the cue ball into the nine. I don't know how much of it she can see to make. Oh, she went all in. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she drained it. <laughs> Great shot. I'm not sure that she has a shot on the tooth, though. I don't know if this rack is getting any better. Yeah, no, we could, you could tell that she could see the ball, but I didn't know how much of it she could see, if she had enough of it to cut it in. All right. Looks like she's going to give Judy ball in hand. And she made that great shot on the one and then came around and didn't have anything. On the two, I was like, oh, this poor girl. Getting started can be brutal. Yeah, so these ladies just need to settle in and get comfortable and make sure that they're they're getting behind their shots. Making sure they know where their cue ball is going. And then, 
ultimately pocketing the ball. I, I feel like maybe a little bit um, of, there's been some cue ball errors. Like they've had a couple weird scratches and so when they settle in, I think everything will be great. I think that uh, looks like Judy's going to try, is she going to try to cut this in the side and just roll the cue ball? Or is she going to Oh, just like that. That's what I was hoping she was going to do. But earlier, I thought she would cut a ball on the side, and she cut it all the way down table. So now I'm not sure if I'm calling it right for her. <laughs> I don't know. She'll come all the way back across. She looks like she's putting some bottom left-hand spin. She's going to widen it out a lot. Oh, she hit that really nicely. She came right in the window between the six and the nine. Now, I will tell you, because the table is, you know, brand new, the felt is really brand new, um, or the cloth, right? The Simona's cloth. And so... Um, Sometimes if you cut these balls too thin, your cue ball will just fly. All right. And there I almost wonder if she didn't hit it fat and then try to add some spin to it to avoid that. Not sure. Um, but She's missed it, and I think Chanel definitely can double up here and play this shot rail first. Come around for the six in the right-hand side pocket. Just like that. Q needs to slow down a little. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Just a couple rotations off in her speed. Give her a couple wrecks or so, and I think these ladies will get that figured out. It just takes a few minutes. Right, so I think that Judy has the edge of this ball. She could do this one or two ways, but uh, she can use that seven ball as a big blocker if she wanted so that she could hit the six with a little more speed and not be super worried about it. Um, but it looks like she's going to really try to just... She overhit it a ton to play the containing safety. Or she hit it too fat and intended to do what I thought she might do. Not really sure. All right, let's go. Chanel, a little bit of a tester shot. We'll see if uh, Chanel's dialed in yet. Beautiful. She wants that cue ball to travel just a tad. And I'm almost positive that Chanel has no shot at reaching this ball. Now maybe she can stretch from the side to get to it. She may be able to stretch. Yeah, see, she's stretching. But that's good. She can do this. She should be able to get plenty comfortable right there. Hey, great shot, Chanel Lorraine. Three to one over Judy Wilson. This is a race to eight alternate break format. Three point rule is in effect. <laughs> And see you over there. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on around the room while Judy's rocking. Looks like Angela Janik is currently one and one with the ageless one, Jerry Wang. Let's 
right, and we got Angela Williams and Olivia Chang going on. I cannot see their score, so I apologize. Uh, and Ashley, is it Benoit, Benoit? I can't see their score either. So half the room is on, half the girls are on this side of the room where I cannot see their score. The other half the girls are on the other side of the room. And so sometimes I can see them scores and sometimes I cannot. They might be on digital pool in the live scoring, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. Um, my phone died, so I'm in a bit of a spot with my personal connections. <laughs> Oh, she needed that to go just a tiny bit more. Oh, it looks like Chanel's going to grab her. Is she grabbing her bridge? She sure is. I think Angela just went up two to one on Jerry. Now her score I can see because she just happens to be playing on the table right in front of my booth. So <laughs> I can see Angela. She's doing great. We're happy she's back. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. So tonight, um, here in Iowa, we have the Pro-Am. So uh, while the ladies are doing the Pro-Am, because that is not something that we stream live, uh, it is for fun. It's for you, anyone who wants to come and hang out with the ladies. Um, it is, uh, I believe, $65. You get to hang out. You get put on a team. It's like speed pool. It's super fun. Everybody's having a great time. You get to take pictures, you know, get some memorabilia, and um, and you get to hang out and have a great time with the ladies. So um, that's going on tonight. So this will be our last match for today. And in the process of that, I'm going to do some uh, some digging into the Wi-Fi here and working on the scoring for the... Um, the tablets and uh, making some adjustments to the stream stuff. Hopefully we can get this a little bit tighter for everybody. Uh, and, you know, fingers crossed, everybody pray for me over the night. <laughs> I'll be stuck in my little booth working hard trying to make things good for you guys at home. But if you're close to us, you should just come see us. That would be much better. It's not very expensive. I think uh, twenty twenty five dollars gets you in the door. Watch live, hang out with all the ladies. This environment's really small and personal, so we appreciate it when people come to visit us live instead of just watching the live stream. But if you're not close to Fairfield, Iowa, I totally understand, and I expect you to be in the in the in the stream with us then. All right, so back and forth, a little back and forth here. Good. That's great, Seth. Thanks. All right, so this is tricky. Should I went and got her extension for her queue? I feel like a little concerned she's about to hit double hit this spot. I may be crazy. Like, okay, she got across it. All right, it's not going to slow down. She's going to leave Judy a good starting shot to finish this rack up. It's a little flat, a little straight. She might have to put some, like, crazy Ginsu draw on it. Oh. She overcut it just a tad. Bobbled that ball up. 
There's a couple different ways that Chanel can get on this ball, but it it doesn't always let's go back to this view. Uh, going three rails around with a high ball doesn't really get you on the good side of the six. So I don't know if I prefer to go that way. Yes. So she's going to have to just lay up and take the tougher cut on the six. That's fair. That was a smart decision for Chanel. She knew that it wasn't, if she swung it around, she wasn't going to do, you know, have good opportunities. I like that. Smart. Uh, yeah. Travel a little far. It's actually okay here. If she doesn't want to shoot at the seven, now I feel like you. this is a definitely an, you, you can cut this ball in. Um, but it's tough, right? So if you choose not to do that, you use that nine ball as cover. She needs this seven ball to go fast. Go fast. I'm pretty sure that Judy can see this. Now she may not be able to see all of it to make it, but she can totally see this ball. I feel like she can see it to make it, but maybe she cannot. Yeah, she's definitely, uh, she's left Judy an opportunity here. The only bad thing about this, oh, maybe she did not. Maybe Judy could not see enough of it to make it, to cut it in. I couldn't tell. Um... So this, where the position of the eight ball, this is such a tough place for the eight to be sitting. Especially, like, from where the seven was last time over to where it is now. Like, granted, you know, you can get back across because there's enough angle on the seven ball, right? But there's a lot of distance. The ball's not froze. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Woo. And there was a dangerous scratch there. Um, so Chanel definitely made that seven ball look easy. Unfortunately, she didn't quite get the best position. Let's see. That's a tough one. She may, she's looking at it like she may try to cut this ball. She's definitely looking at it. Now, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think at home, but I, I wonder if you could thin the right side of the eight and go two rails under the nine. Okay. Now that I didn't like, but maybe she just meant to like uh, bank it and she just overhit it a little bit. All right. See what Judy does here with this eight. A little bobble. All right. Sorry, guys. We had somebody pop in the booth. I have to be careful because, like, I'm a loud talker, and the players don't always like to hear me when they're outside there and I'm in my little booth. All right. It looks like the ladies are going to take them a little player break. I'm going to go down, double check, make sure I have the right score. And uh, 
Let's see how uh, this match finishes up for us. Let's throw a little different view here. Maybe you can see a little bit of uh, Olivia Chang's match on the other side there. Angela Williams, I believe, is playing over there with Olivia. Check it out. I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like Judy has come back from her break. Had to get the, uh, go in and make sure the scores are getting updated as best as possible. Give me a second to uh, snack on my sandwich because I didn't get to eat anything today before my match. So um, every time I have an opportunity to, uh, to have a bite, I do it quickly. I don't like to eat on the stream, so you guys don't need to hear me chomping. All right, so it's Chanel Lorraine's break. She's currently up four to one on Judy Wilson. Let's see. Let's see if everybody, that break worked out for everybody, right? The frustration is real. We definitely have trouble. These first starting matches, we're, we get a little frustrated, right? And so, I don't blame Judy. They've had some back and forth, so let's get them. Let's all send them some good mojo, right? So they can play their best pool and have a great match. They win or lose, walk away pretty good with their first round. I mean, nobody likes to lose, right? But if you play okay, sometimes you can accept a loss in the first round because <laughs> you know that there's potential, right? And it may take, it may be the scenic route from there, but at least you, uh, you feel a little bit better. But if you don't play super well or you make a lot of little mistakes, then we tend to beat ourselves up, right? Right, so no shot. She made a legal break, but she doesn't get a shot, so she's going to push. I don't know if Judy will go ahead and take this. This is another one of those where you kind of, you try to thin it maybe and come around, you know, a couple reels, stick the cue under the nine. Or you can try to bring it all the way around and try to get the cue ball underneath the two. She's going to play a containing safety. That could work. 
Um, she didn't hit it as hard as she tried to earlier today, earlier in the match, so that's good. Looks like she's making the proper adjustments. There's a, you know, there's a safety opportunity here as well. See if Chanel goes for that. She can possibly make this ball too. I mean, especially where the two balls sitting. I think she played a two way there, right? Try to get the cue ball down here underneath that six nine. Uh, and then you have a shot on the two ball, but if you miss it, leave them kind of snookered from the one. Looks like uh, she got unfortunate. It's landed uh, where she's queuing awkwardly over that red three ball. So these are kind of difficult shots, and they're really difficult, really, really difficult when you add in nerves and all the other things, the distance of the shot. She's made a good hit. Oh, by the way, this table is on a mandatory 40-second shot clock. And so I'm sure you can imagine that when you got to think about a safety or find a safety, 40 seconds doesn't feel like a long time. You'll see some of the ladies get a little antsy when they're not accustomed to the shot clock. And then, you know, they feel like they'd want rather look a little longer, but they know that they don't have enough time. But they do get one extension per rack. And in that situation, it might have been worth it to take the extension and, um, you know, look for a safety. It could have made the difference right there, right? If she might have been able to find a safety. Anyway, she's going to kick at this ball. Oh, she drains it. Snaps. Good job, Judy. Snaps, snaps. Just so everybody at home knows, too, I think Angela's currently up 3-1 to one on Jerry Yang. Everybody's waiting at home to find out how Angela's doing. All right, so Judy's got an opportunity here. She's nice speed. She needs that ball to go, though. I'm sure she would have much rather hit those balls, split those balls, right? Or not touch them at all. All right, so she's kicking. She's made a legal hit. Wow. So she's left Chanel an opportunity here. Now I know every player is a little different, um, but it, and it's super tough to come into in between the seven nine there, because the four either goes. I mean, I don't even know if it goes on the side, but it definitely it may go on the side if you're under it in the right place. Um, but you almost have to try to swing around and get under this four. I don't know that she can dig in enough. And I mean, she would have to come in between the window of the seven, six to get on that purple four. So she may opt to play safety here. She's just trying to put that cue ball up underneath there. She's got that little wall of balls. What a smart move by Chanel Lorraine. like uh, Judy probably has the very edge of this three. I don't think she has all of it. Let's see what Judy opts to do here. Oh. Maybe she did have to kick at it. Or she mishit it, one of the two. Can't really tell by Judy's reaction. So she's, Chanel's got ball in hand. She's going to go ahead and just roll this ball forward. 
and she doesn't have to worry about getting a bunch of ankle. Oh, she's opting to go under it. All right, girl. That's fine, too. <laughs> That works. That's actually the position of the cue ball that I was hoping when she she would attempt to make that last three ball and come around to get under there, kind of where she is now. Nice little touch there. The six goes past the seven, but it definitely goes in the right hand or the left hand side or even the left hand bottom corner pocket. Forward action. Maybe it goes past that seven. Yeah, the way she's looking at it, it sure does, doesn't it? It's going to be tight. Hey. Oh, no. Lost the cue ball. Judy's approaching the table with ball in hand. All right, so I like Judy's odds here. She's she's likely to get out. The ball in hand. All right, great shot by Judy. She got it kind of, uh, it's better than being on the rail, right? So probably a little longer than she intended, but that's okay. I still think she's in a great place. She has a good opportunity to pocket the ball here. Get her another win under the belt. Don't let Chanel get too far ahead of her. Guys, don't forget, too, to stay tuned in for tomorrow. Tomorrow's there's some great matches. We've got a long day of pool, uh, Friday and Saturday. And then, of course, the finals will be on Sunday. Check out digitalpool.com. All right, so Judy needed that there, right? So it's currently 4-2 to two in favor of Chanel. This is a race to eight. But Judy definitely needed that there, not only for uh, to kind of you know, pull back into this match a little bit, but also to, for a little bit of confidence, right? Yeah, it's four to two. I believe it's four to two. Yes, I looked out, I can see their actual flip scoreboard that they have for the spectators here. And uh, the score is four to two. <laughs> All right, and Angela is currently up four to one on Jerry Ng. On the five ball in this sixth rack of their, her match. She has a starting shot. Or a good shot on the five anyway. Should be able to come around two rails for the sixth ball. All right, so these ladies are back in it. Can't be watching Angela. I can see Angela outside of my window. That's the only reason why. <laughs> Literally, they put Angela on the table right in front of me. Well, the t one table that I can see clearly. All right, so Chanel's got, um, this is a makeable ball in this side. She just needs to be mindful of the cue ball, and I don't know that I like her elevating, but maybe she's thinking if she draws the cue. Yeah, I think I would have preferred to go forward with that ball, me personally, but everyone's got a different preference, right? So, doesn't make mine right or wrong. 
but with going back that way, she leaves herself no shot on the two. Let's see what she does here. Going for the safety. Just kind of a little bit of a contained safety, right? Leave them long. Yeah, so when did, for some reason, whenever they update the score on Digital Pool, it's taking a really long time to switch on our scoreboards. So these are all links that are connected to our stream, to the brackets. Um, they are not, we don't have much control, so once they update it, I mean, it takes, it seems to be taking a few minutes before it updates on our actual link. So I apologize, the score is currently 4 to 2. A little bit of a tester here on the 3, but definitely a, a makeable ball for Judy. She just caught a little fat. And it may be because she was stretched over the table. I'm not really sure. You know how when you're uncomfortable and you're stretched over the table, you don't do all the proper, you know, proper setups, the proper control. You're not getting into your pre-shot routine because your body's kind of stretched funny over the table. All right. That high ball kills stroke when a ball is in the pocket like that. You notice that how the cue ball kind of stopped and skidded. So when the cue, when the object ball is just a, an inch or so from the rail, and you got you play that ball with follow, a lot of times it causes the cue ball to do that little reverse thing that you just seen it do. Um, a lot of times those balls, you you need to use more of a center ball, maybe drag them around. Know, two rails. You have to be careful with those. You know, the ball is just a few inches from the rail. A lot of times when you use a high English, it'll just die off there. I mean, it almost sounded, I know you guys couldn't hear this, but it sounded like it was a little bit of a miscue that happened for Chanel. All right, so you'll see Judy, she kind of took a quick look. She knows she's on the shot clock. This is mandatory on the TV table. Oh, nice shot by Judy there. She got that six up and out of there. Great shot. Angela's staring at me through the window. It's like creeper-ish. <laughs> All right, you guys, I had to mute myself so I didn't giggle on the stream. I was starting to giggle. She was super being creepy. That's what happens when you set Angela close to the stream booth. And she's got a break, right? She turns around and gives me the creeper stare. <laughs> back and forth action in this rack, this rack between uh, Chanel and Judy. Just neither one of them really can get a good clean shot going on this six ball. Looks like Judy's probably going to uh, go ahead and... Sh I like... Now she can bank this. She's going to do that. 
but I wasn't sure if the seven went past the eight. And so, like, I didn't know if I liked that shot. Because even though you could get safe on the six, if you miss it, if you're going to, I think I would have just went for the intentional safety. And then the six and come around two rails and use the eight, nine as blockers. <laughs> All right, you guys, so anybody who's out there, make sure you sharing, you're liking, and subscribing. Uh, you can also hit the little, once you subscribe to our channel, there's a little bell up there, and I believe it's the bell. You can go in there and click on that bell, and it'll notify you when we go live. Um, you also can be responsible fans and go to digital, digitalpool.com and check out who's going to be on table three tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. You can be responsible fans, right? And then you'll just know at 10 a.m. Central Time, you need to meet me back here. Same place, right? <laughs> And I actually think they've already established who's playing on the stream tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Um, I have not looked, but I do believe they've already been established. I can actually check that really quick. Get my phone on a charger to save me. All right, so let's see what we got. We'll do that real quick while these girls are having their back and forth game. Okay, table three is our stream table. First match in the morning. It's at 10 a.m. Central Time. Table three. Looks like it's going to be Bean Hung. Mm, between the versus the winner of Ashley and Pam Kelly. Um, I'm not sure if this is if I have a updated bracket or not. I apologize. Nice. Being an Ashley, you guys are so responsible. So blessed to have you all. Oh, yeah, I like the noon match, too, with Margaret and Elu. That's going to be a really good match as well. All right, so I like the way that Chanel played that there. Playing it just real nice and thin and playing it with a high ball to get underneath eight since he only went in a couple pockets. It's a really smart, responsible shot by Chanel Lorraine. Yeah, so Bean and Ashley. And then, yes, and then uh, Margaret and Elul. Those are good matchups. They're going to be fun. All right, Chanel Lorraine looking to extend her lead here. I don't know why ours hasn't updated, because it is four to two. But now it's about to be five to two. As soon as Chanel pockets this nine ball. Ooh. Did a couple banks on the way in, right? Five to two and a race to eight. Breaking rack eight. Chanel's breaking. Let's do a quick side view here. See Angela Williams over there on table four, right? Yeah, table four. Yeah, yeah, it's a little dark in here. This room is a little dark. So we may make some slight adjustments um, going forward. But like I said, uh, we started off, everything was really great. We had a small collision on the Wi-Fi system here, <laughs> like a like a total breakdown. So um, we're coming back around. We're on the good side of it now. We're starting to understand what's going on. Uh, and hopefully, if 
by the time I see you guys tomorrow, we'll make some adjustments and you guys will be pleased with what's happening. Yeah, I think the table view is great. You uh, maybe can't see all the carpet colors or details, but I think that the table view is fantastic. Um, thanks, Steph. Yeah, so the color looks great. Uh, if I can make a, um, some adjustments, you know, obviously we will. I think the table view looks fantastic. May make some lightness adjustments uh, going forward. But this room is pretty dark. They don't use any outside lighting other than the pool table lights. They like the room to be dark. Um, so that's good. I mean, that's the way they prefer it here. Uh, we don't promote the event, the event, the dub, you know, we're just streamers. Sorry. I like to talk to you guys, though. <laughs> Hey, it looks like Judy's got a safety opportunity here. She's going to try to make sure she gets that cue ball past that blue two. Oh, she bumped the blue two. Not sure how you feel about any of that. That's okay, though. I mean, I'm not the one playing, right? So I'm not the one who has to make the decisions. All right, so looks like we're back at a situation here where Chanel's got opportunities. Now, I would play this with a high ball. If, if the combination on the three doesn't go, does not. Oh. Well, it sure didn't look like it, did it? It does go, right? She played it to the fat side of the pocket. So she, uh, since it did go, she has a shot on the one. She could try for a bank, maybe a two-way safety here. I don't know if I necessarily care for cutting this ball in. From that distance, I mean, she's three and a half diamonds away. I do like the bank at speed, but she, she overhit that a little. Yeah, it did totally go. Yeah, I sure hope so. We're working on it. Um, There's some firewalls at the convention center. That really doesn't let us do much of anything. <laughs> it's been interesting. Um, we blasted through a few things trying to get to here. So here we are, folks. I hope you, you know, you're going to bear with us. I, I do believe that tomorrow will be better. Uh, we just got a little more work to do. And we've literally been working on it. Um, we were set up. Everything seemed to be running fine. We were showing great numbers. And then everything started kicking us off the systems. <laughs> and we were like, oh no, what are we doing? What's going to happen? And so uh, we literally got the stream to allow us to add a video connection to it five minutes before it started. And we had it perfectly fine the night before. Everything was completely set. So pray for us all. And, um, you know, hopefully it'll be fine tomorrow. We're going to get through this match. For those of you who are in the area, yes, that's exactly how it goes. Um, for those of you who are in the area, please come down. Come check it out. We have a pro-am starting at 6.30 tonight. If I don't know if there are still spots available. If you're curious about that, you're welcome to reach out to Darren Hamilton. So if you're in the, from this area, then you guys already know Darren. Um, and find out if he has any space available. Um, if you cannot, please make sure you're sharing, liking, and subscribing. You're also welcome to donate to the stream anytime. Uh, you guys, there's, I don't know if there's a little, there used to be a little money symbol at the bottom of the chat, right next to where you type in. If the money symbol's there, then you're golden. If not, we'll go in and try to get it figured out for you. Give me just a second. Somebody's popping in.
right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Lonnie Fox Raven, and I'm back in action. Current score is five to one in favor of Angela Janik. Looks like Chanel Lorraine is up five to two versus uh, Judy Wilson. Some, some, somebody popped their head in the booth here, and that kind of puts me in a spot. Um, I had to mute you quickly. Apologize for that. Excuse me, guys. So I answer a few people here. Oh, look, I popped back in really quick. I apologize to you guys. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on around us right now in these first rounds because there's things happening. Um, so that was a great shot. Looks like Chanel has extended her lead six to two. Uh, and this is a race to eight. So um, this is alternate break format, which gives Judy an opportunity. But now that she's down a little bit, she's going to have to really fade a lot of breaks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kaylee is tough, actually. We had a Hill Hill Thriller match in Wisconsin a, a couple events ago, um, and some we we played such a good match against each other, so I saw her outside after I completed my match, and uh, she was like, oh, it's me and you tomorrow, girl, rematch, <laughs> rematch. Oh, and I love, I absolutely love Kaylee. She's a great human. She's a great player. She has so much talent. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to play her. So, you know, I told her, don't worry. Don't worry, girl. I'll be there. <laughs> mm. I like our family. They're wonderful people. Um, and so, I mean, I think I'm blessed just to be here playing, right? Be here with these ladies. They're great players. Um, to know that you've earned your, your right to be in the room. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll take that. All right. So Chanel Lorraine, she's trying to get to the hill here. She's on six. She's on six. Nice shot. Nice shot. Chanel is starting to settle in a little bit, which would make her much more comfortable in this situation. She would feel better walking away if she was able to settle.
Alright, everybody. Angela jumped in the booth on her player break. She's currently up six to one versus Jerry Ang. Um, Jerry needed a she needed a restroom break. So she's coming back into the room. Back into the arena. I hope you guys are enjoying the matches. We really appreciate you guys tuning in for this. Um like I said, things will be a bit better tomorrow. No worries. It looks like the, the some of the lagging and the little stuff we've maybe finally gotten figured out based on the connections. It did take us a while, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, I really uh, am grateful for the opportunities, though, to be able to be here and do the commentary for you guys at home. So thank you so much for tuning in and continuously supporting us. Um, you have no idea how much it means to Angela and I, let alone the WPBA and all the sponsors and the people that are involved with this wonderful organization. So uh, don't forget to be tuning in tomorrow. If you're in this stream right now, I want you to back out of the full screen and hit the like button. I want you to hit the little thumbs up, okay? Um, I won't bug you about much, but I will bug you about that the rest of the weekend. So if you don't do it, I'm going to bug you until you do. I might bug you anyway, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so share, like, subscribe. Thank you so much to our sponsors, Aramis, Simonis, Diamond, of course, and especially these brand new Diamond tables this week. We're so excited for that. The first ones to play on these tables. Outsfield Template Rack, Jam Up Apparel, Servitude Photography, I'm not forgetting anyone. I am. I apologize. And of course, uh, we have great sponsors from Fairfield that have for many years now supported us coming to the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center in Fairfield, Iowa. So thank you to them. Looks like Chanel's going to come to the table here and get herself on the hill with ball in hand on the seven. Real opportunity here to, to, to start shutting this match down. behind her and making sure she's doing the work, knowing where she wants to be to shoot the eight ball. It's got ball in hand on the seven here. Like it. Cheers. She's going to get on the hill. Like, feel it. It's like she went up and I don't know how I feel about that. She lined up on the top of the Cuba and she lined up on the bottom. She came with a little bit of draw there. All right, so it looks like uh, Chanel Lorraine trying to get herself on the hill here. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Chanel Lorraine is up 7-2 to two versus Judy Wilson. How's everything sound at home? Do we sound okay? Are you okay with the sound right now? How does it sound to you guys at home? Give me some feedback before I have to get done for the day. Tell me what you think. Do you think the table view is too dark? Do you like the table, but maybe more lighting around the table? What do you guys think? Now, don't beat me up, because that's not fair. <laughs> you remember to be kind. But I'm not opposed to some honest opinions. And if you think you're going to be rude about it, then just inbox me. My name is Lonnie Fox Raymond. You can find me on Facebook. <laughs> like, I can handle rude. Just don't do it to the stream. The tour doesn't deserve it. <laughs> the tour is trying. We're all trying, right? And that's the point. We're going to make this better and better. And that's the, that's the goal. It's to grow. Grow the, the, uh, the uh, you know, the in amount of ladies getting the attention that they deserve. These ladies are great players, so better lighting around the table. Thank you, John. I am okay with that. Thank you. Thanks, Hank. <laughs> no. Boot our wrist? I'm just kidding. I know what it says. I'm not saying it, yo. 
say my name, say my name. Wait, just kidding. Um, sound is good, though. Everybody's okay with the sound? Yeah, we know about the lag. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get the fix in it. All right. Thanks, Sam. Okay. Yeah. The Wi-Fi is a little touchy here in Iowa. So we're working on it. Okay. Thanks, Steph. All right, so Chanel Lorraine is currently up 7-2. to two. This is a big game for Judy. She's really got to grind it out here. All right, let's see if she can take back a few racks from Chanel here. Get some of it back. All right. <laughs> see what kind of adjustments I can make thank you guys so much <laughs> all right Oh, okay, so Judy had to kick at that ball. She got a little crazy. Looks like it's going to leak out. Chanel's going to have sight of the three ball, but she's not going to have a great opportunity. I don't think it's a great place to shoot the ball. Yeah, it's a little tricky. She could play some safeties here, though. There's lots, there's a, quite a few different ways to play safety here. Quite a few different ways to play safeties. Let's see. All right, so now this could be tricky because I don't think she, I mean, maybe she can see enough of the three to actually pocket the three. But I know if she can only see that left edge of it, she could potentially scratch behind that seven. Let's see what Judy can do here. Ooh, double hit. Double face smack thingy that happens. <laughs> I don't know if that's a proper term in pool. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, boy. Well, it's really been a long day today. I just want you guys to know I got up really early this morning. So I'm trying to uh, do my best not get slap happy, right? So it looks like Chanel got a little funky there. I think the three can go past there. It's even kind of weird as far as a safety option, right? Like, I feel like if she tries to go through, let's look. If she tries to go through. I don't think she can split the gap on the six nine, but maybe she can. Oh, what a nice, nice try. Nice. Judy has an opportunity here. Looks like Olivia Chang has defeated Angela Williams. So Olivia Chang will move on till tomorrow. Well, both girls, I believe, are moving on till tomorrow. Uh, but Olivia will be on the A side. Angela will f take the scenic route. All right, so it looks like Judy's a little odd here. Just like awkward. She can do. I'm afraid she's pushing towards a scratch by putting draw on this. Ooh. ooh, ooh. ooh. I don't know how I felt about that, but I think too, once you've had a lot of one of these matches where things are really back and forth and you're never really getting on the good side of the uh 
the ball, you know, you always feel like you're fighting and nothing's going right, nothing's going in your favor. These matches get very frustrating and it's really hard to find a rhythm again, so I don't, uh, I'm not real judgy about this kind of stuff. We put these ladies on the stream table. Um, they have both played on the stream table before, yes, um, but obviously it's not like riding the bike just because you've done it once doesn't mean you're good at it um, or that you're comfortable in that situation. But um, I also know these are first round matches and the ladies have had a lot of struggles getting through the racks. Um, probably just lack of being used to the equipment. I wouldn't say nerves. These are seasoned players. Um, maybe just getting used to the new felt and the new tables and... I mean, think about it. Nobody's even played any solid sets on these tables yet. These are, this is it. They're like the guinea pigs on the new tables, right? She's got a combo opportunity here. She needs to watch out for the scratch. So she doesn't follow this cue ball forward. Nice. Oh, she got a twofer. All right. Judy Wilson. Seven to three. Favor of Chanel Lorraine. Judy's not going anywhere. She's fighting. Judy helped me out earlier today. I was working on a couple things, trying to get my ring light figured out, and I'm having some other things set up in the in the players' room. And so Judy gave me a hand today and stood in front of my camera and my ring light so I could use her to check height on the lights and I was really appreciative of that. Judy, she's very nice, and she's always willing to help out with anything going on uh, within the tour. So I like Judy a lot. She's very nice. And, of course, Chanel is fantastic. I've known Chanel a long time. This gets Judy and maybe a little bit of confidence, right? Let's get back in this match. You know, when we're sitting there, sometimes uh, sometimes when there's, we're sitting there and, and things don't feel like they're going your way, it's so frustrating. It's really hard to find that center again and get comfortable playing in, in the matches again. And so, um, and, and, and believing in yourself, right? Uh, when things just don't feel like they're going your way, it's really hard to change that around. But we all know that's the way pool is. We got a dry break by Judy there. Chanel has an opportunity. Now, the 5-6. They're interesting, right? But I almost feel like the 5-6 is a combination. I feel like it's a combo. It goes right into that top left corner. So if she can get, the trick is really going to be, I think, from the 3 to the 4. She really, really needs to uh, to get on the good side of this 3 ball. Because everything, the combo is very straight. The four leads to the five, six combo. It's key right here. She's going to play that combo. She needs an angle. She needs an angle. Now, see here on this shot right here, I do, um, this is actually something that's, she could throw a little spin here. She has to be mindful of the scratch in the top left-hand corner. She has to be mindful of that. She doesn't want to catch the gap between the 8 and 9. She wants to come past the 8. Ooh. Oh, look at She got it. Nice shot, Chanel. Is it to go? She doesn't want to fall straight. Oh, boy. This changes things a little. See, Chanel, she kind of makes the face like she knows. She may have to accept a difficult shot on the 4. Which doesn't get you to the 5-6 well. Hmm. What other videos, Lisa? That's weird. Keep knocking me off your stream. Seven times. That's super weird. What other videos? I don't know what that means. All right, so Chanel's accepting a little bit tougher shot. Now, she plays this four ball. B high, right hand English. She can smack right into that five. No. She caught the four just a little too fat. 
She needed to catch it thin and oh, and add this spin. That's tough. That was such a tough shot from where. I mean, she left herself the best that she could leave herself, but she uh, that was tough for her. Yeah, Lisa, I don't know what you're talking about other videos. There shouldn't be any other videos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Angela is on the hill. Seven to one. Versus Jerry Ng. <laughs> I like Efren, too. Well, I appreciate you wanting to watch us over Efren. Not going to lie, that's a compliment. But I don't understand why it's doing that. Hmm. That has nothing to do with us, I don't think, Lisa. I wish I could help you be something in the YouTube algorithms, right? Hey, Judy here. She's going to steal another one. Steal. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I was just watching Angela, and I thought she was going to slap the nine ball in. She was playing like a, a two-rail draw position shot. She caught the nine and almost knocked it in. <laughs> That's a win, though. Hi, Trish. Uh, so the brackets are on digitalpool.com. They're under the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. So you should be able to click there, and I know you're familiar with uh, Digital Pool, so you'll know how to get around from there. Um, and I think our first matches are at 10 a.m. Central Time. So <laughs> Totally weird science, Lisa. 10 a.m. start time tomorrow, Central, Central Time Zone. Everything's on Digital Pool. You can check that out. We're on YouTube. Huh. Man, that's super weird. I wonder why it's skipping you, though. You shouldn't have any, any problems at all. I'm confused by that. It's weird. What up, Kia? All right, Judy has been fighting so hard, Kia. Oh, nice, Trish. We'll see you tomorrow. She has been fighting so hard. I think that she's just run out of it. I think uh, Chanel is going to get her right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Chanel Lorraine is advancing on the A side. Now, Judy Wilson is not out of this event. Please follow her journey on digitalpool.com. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to shoot you guys a couple commercials, and then I will see you at 10 a.m. Central Time tomorrow. Thank you so much. This is Lonnie Fox Raymond for the Women's Professional Billiards Association. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration, and digital payment tracking. Enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com.